Good up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to RWS Ratchadamnon World Series Grand Final. Coming to you live from the world's first Muay Thai Stadium right here in the heart of Bangkok, Thailand. I am Aaron Suri Sompan, and joining me is former Muay Thai world champion Anne Tuan Pinto. It's been a long and a difficult road. Over five months that these fighters have been fighting to get to today, the grand final here at the legendary Ratchadamnon Stadium, Aaron. That's right. No better place than to have a Muay Thai final than right here at Rajadamnon Stadium. Established in 1945, Rajadamnon Stadium has stood as the world's first Muay Thai stadium with 78 years of history. Rajadamnon Stadium is truly the home and birthplace of the art of eight limbs, the best form of striking in the world. Yeah, the very first Muay Thai stadium in the world. It used to be very different because now we have entered a new era, not only for Muay Thai, but for Rajadamnon. Absolutely. RWS, Rajadamnon World Series, has created this new era of Muay Thai, the greatest Muay Thai tournament on the face of the planet. RWS Rajadamnon World Series has gathered some of the best Muay Thai fighters from all corners of the globe to identify the best strikers on the planet. RWS Rajadamnon World Series invites eight fighters from each weight class and places them into two groups of four. The top two finishers of each group will advance to the knockout round in order to earn a chance at three million baht. The RWS Rajadamnon World Series belt and to forever etch their names into greatness. Yeah, and of course tonight we will get to know three of the first RWS World Champion. It's been a long road and here we are. But of course the prelim card as well. I want to talk about it. Yeah, absolutely. We have three prelim fights here tonight before we move on to those finals. And of course it's RWS, so some of the best fighters in the world are competing here tonight. Yeah. Not only males, but females as well. You're absolutely right, Aaron. So let's have a look at the fight card and who will be fighting tonight. In the first prelim, Bua Chompu for Muang Pet from Thailand will be taking on Latifa Sit Jiao Po from Sweden. In our second main, in our second prelim, Mahdi Venomoy Thai from Iran will be taking on Ayub Satian Moy Thai from Morocco. Yeah, and the third and last prelim fights we have from Espana, Nayanesh Ayman. Tonight he will be taken on from Thailand, Wan Chalun, Pak Yok PK Nuan Tong Snooker Club. And of course, the very first RWS Super Lightweight Final. We have Lam Namun Lek Tidet Kasukao or Acharya tonight. He will be taking on Samin Dead No and Wat Jin. And then in our second final this evening is the turn of the female bantamweights as last year's champion Som Ratsami Manop Muay Thai Jim will be taking on Nao Prajan Luxai Gong Din. And then in our main event, the fight that a lot of people have been talking about. Kapitan Pet Gindi Academy will be taking on Nung Lang Lek Jip Mung Non in our final of the Super Lightweight Division. An amazing fight card and like I said, it's been a long road and here we are today, the grand final, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. Like Antoine said, we started back in May. Four fights these fighters have had and now tonight they will have their fifth fight and the chance to become RWS champion. All right, but of course, before that, we do have three very exciting prelim fights. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the very first fight of the evening from Thailand, Bua Chompu, Pa Mueang Pet, and her opponent from Sweden. Please welcome Latifa Sit Chow Pa. And here she comes, the very first fighter of the night. Making her way to the ring on this very exciting fight night. This is Bua Shampu, Paul Mueang Pip. And here comes her opponent, Latifa, fighting out of Sit Jiao Po Jim. 
making her way to the RWS ring inside the beautiful Raja Amnon Stadium for our first bout of this evening's very special 2023 week one of the finals. Welcome to the ring, Latifa. Welcome to Raja Amnon Stadium watching around the world live on the zone in 200 plus countries and territories. Right, they can see the tail of the tape for your first fight of this very special evening here at RWS. The night of the first finals. In the red corner, we have Bochompu. She is just 16 years of age. She stands at 165 centimeters. The weight is at 113 pounds, which she weighed in yesterday on the money and she has a reach of 158 centimeters. She is from Urban Ratchatani here in Thailand and has a professional record of 29 victories with 11 losses. An Isan regional Muay Thai champion, the northeastern part of Thailand where a lot of the best Muay Thai fighters actually come from. She's also the semi-finalist in a grassroots Muay Thai competition and she's had experience in three round fights. Her opponent is Latifa. Got a name here somewhere. Latifa Solomon, there you go. She is from Sweden and she has, she is, sorry, 27 years of age and stands at 161 centimeters, four centimeters shorter than her opponent. She has a reach of 159 centimeters, which is actually one centimeter more than her opponent. And she is from Vastaras in Sweden. I'm sorry to all the Swedish fans watching there if I butchered that. She has a professional record of 23 victories with seven losses and two draws. An Eastern Regional Muay Thai champion who also has kickboxing experience and is actually more adept at five round fights. I've also been told that she had a four year layoff from the sport of Muay Thai. And she made her comeback fight earlier in Hua Hin, where her gym is based. A winning victory. And then what a leap this is. Going from there to the hollow halls of the majestic Rajala Mern Stadium. And you can see the fans still piling in for this one. And speaking of a four-year hiatus, very similar to one of our finalists here tonight, Nao Prajan, Luxai <laughs> Gong Din, taking on last year's 112-pound champion, Tom Ratsumi is going to be a tough ask for Nao Pujan. Of course, my colleague to the right of me here was able to interview Nao Pujan in good spirits. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's amazing what she's been able to accomplish, like you said, after four years layoff because she had a little girl. And now being back here in Ratchet Minnesota, I mean, the RWS tournament, she was your underdog all the way long, but yeah. she still managed to make it to make it to the final. Yeah, amazing, really. A lot of people thought that she was just making up the numbers, of course. We saw her sister, Ida, last year get all the way to the final as well. Very talented Muay Thai family. But yeah, a lot of people, myself included, if I'm being honest, wasn't sure whether she was able to make it all the way to through to the final after four years away from the sport. But after each and every fight, she just seems to improve and get better and better. And that last bout in the final four against Devki, she looked amazing. So yeah, it really sets up this evening's final, which of course will be later here tonight. Just six fights this evening instead of the scheduled eight. And that is because the three finals, all finals, including next week's finals as well, will be five round fights. But the prelims will still be three rounds. As you can take a look there, uh, an aerial shot of the beautiful Rajadam Nern Stadium, the world's oldest Muay Thai stadium. As you can see, Bo Chumpu there performing the Y crew. It's done before every traditional Muay Thai bout. 
one of the fighters, masters, their trainers, and of course the gym or camp they represent and fight out of. You can see Boa Trumpel going through the motions. We're expecting the packed house here tonight. Already can see in the nosebleed seats, it looks like it's packed with fans of the fighters who are in the finals. Big seats also starting to fill up here at this week's Rajdam Nern World Series. Glad you can join us around the world watching live on The Zone. And for all those who have followed us throughout the months from May all the way, well, you've been through a marathon as well. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. First bout of the evening, Thailand versus Sweden. Take it away, Mr. Beer, the voice of RWS and Rajdam Nern Stadium. Up. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Beer, the voice of Russia the Band, and welcome to RWS Russia the Band World Series Tournament 2023. We are now entering the grand final of the Super Lightweight Division, Lightweight Division, and Female Bantamweight Division. We are live from the world first Muay Thai Stadium, Russian and Bass Stadium, the birthplace of Muay Thai. Watching live to over 200 countries around the world on the zone. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to start the first preliminary fights of the evening. Are you ready? This is Muay Thai. This is Roger of the introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Rapin Soblik. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the red cutter, 16 years of age, she stands 165 centimeters tall and weighing less than 13 pounds. She has a record of 29 wins and 11 losses. She is a semi finalist in Brazil's Muay Thai tournament and Eastern Regional Muay Thai Champion, representing Ubon Rajatani Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Muay Thai Po Moon Pan! And opening, fighting, I want the blue corner, 27 years of age. She stands 161 in Miss Hall and wedded with it and 13 pounds. She will record all 23 wins, seven losses, and two draw. She is Eastern Regional Muay Thai Champion, representing Sweden. Let's hear it for Latifa Sinjopo. All right, here we go. Three, two minute rounds. Welcome to the first week of the RWS Finals. We will crown three champions here tonight. Each of the winners will receive three million baht. Bo Chumpu there with a left kick. Straight down Latifa's midsection. Swinging right high kick there, attempted by Bo Chumpu. Into the punch, and of course, as you mentioned before, Bochampu only 16 years of age, still very, very young. Absolutely, good left hook there by Latifa. And again, like Anton says, going into the clinch. Back in the center of the ring, Bochampu very aggressive, trying to push forward with a jab, right oh, kick, beautiful middle section. That was even that noise there by Latifa. Good right knee though by the Swede. Good defense in the clinch from Latifa. Back in the center of the room. Oh, and the right kick once again. Seems to have found a home for that right kick to the midsection. That was a good technique, though, by Latifa. Again, ooh, looking ooh, for that right ooh, hand. Ooh. She might have found it. Quickly, quick she like. Bochumpu starts to engage in the clinch. Could be a sign that she actually was hurt there. Yeah, Latifa, she needs to figure out that right kick of Bochumpu and perhaps stop it. This is going to be a long night now. Ooh, good left oh, Good right knee though by Latifa. Oh, Ooh, and the strength. Good technique there by Latifa. But poor Champu able to stay on her feet. So far. Yeah, both fighters looking for that left hook. 
so far pretty close, side pretty even. Inside kick there from Latifa, finished Ooh, off with the left hand. <laughs> As the Brigitte goes flying. Left jab to the body there by Latifa. Ooh, Ten seconds left, kick. left on the clock here in the first round. Yeah, and I like Latifa a little bit more aggressive, Ooh. pushing forward. Gotta be careful, she walked into that right kick. Ooh. Both fighters looking for left hands and finding them. Good end to the round there from both fighters. A good way to end the round for Latifa. Pretty close round so far. Difficult to judge, and of course, here in RWS, we will find out who wins each round as we have open scoring. See, deep breaths there from Latifa. Only just back to her four. Yeah, I ate us out of the sport. Let's have a look at the highlights. That right kick was money for Bua Chumpu. There's just some good hands flying by Latifa. Not an easy round to judge. Potentially, my unofficial scorecard, Bua Chumpu might have just done enough in that round. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges, score red 10, blue 9. Mumson, unlike traditional Muay Thai, where you, they say, well, if you lose, it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You're gaining points, and by the time it's the final four, if you lose, you're out of the tournament. So it's about being the best of the best. Here at RWS. Good knees here from Bua Chumpu. Remember, she is one round to the good so far. That's a beautiful left knee again by Bua Chumpu. Yeah, beautiful for here in the clinch. Latifa, she needs to find her range. She needs to be able to land her shots. Oh, Perhaps this did. hooks like this. Yeah, it was a beautiful left hook just now. But back in the clinch. I'm not sure if this is where Latifa wants to be right now. She's matching Latifa. Sorry, she's matching Bua Chumpu. But I do think Bua Chumpu is getting the better inside the clinch and that's why she's the one who's engaging it more you can see especially with that left knee just a little bit stronger right now than Latifa just taller as well which helps oh looking for a left elbow as is Latifa trying to give him one back yeah again I think the distance will be in favor of Washington if they get into the clinch and here now fighting backwards and back to a beautiful left kick good catch oh, that was a beautiful kick to the body there Referee was trying to stop them that time. Oh, back into the clinch they go. You can see Latifa is trying to elbow her way out of this situation. She doesn't want to be there. And the way she's positioning her arms right now is not great in the clinch. Better position from Bocha. Oh. Right elbow. Interesting. Bocha attempts the elbow. She goes straight into the clinch work of Latifa that time. Bit of a roll reversal here. Much better way. Good defense from Latifa in the clinch. Oh, oh. the right kick. Strong right kick there from Bua Chumpu. Again, similar technique that we saw that was effective in the opening round. Oh, oh that's a strong left knee. And oh, again, absolutely. by Bua Chumpu. Oh, not a good position to be in from the Swedish fighter. Now pushing forward. Oh, oh the knee. Straight into the midsection once again of the Tifa. What's oh. Bua Chumpu? She's cheering. She thinks she's done enough. And I'm tending to agree with her. That was a great round by Bua Chompu. More of the same, pretty much, from what we saw in the opening round, but even more effective if we're being honest with ourselves. See, Latifa wasn't really wanting to be within the clinch, but you see Bua Chompu, even though Latifa rolls that left hook, she just grabs a hold oh, of her, and here tightens it is. that neck, and throws those knees at will. Beautiful flying knee there at the end of that round. There you can see that left knee especially doing a lot of damage to Latifa. Oh. Nice elbow there from Bua Chumpu. These fighters are putting it on here in our opening fight here at RWS. Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges. Score red 10, blue 9. And for the total score, all three judges score 20 to 18. Really, um, again, 16 years of age only. With so much potential. Absolutely. All right, well, Latifa, it's now or never. 
left kick there by the Swede. And you see straight away both champion happy to go on the back foot and wait for Latifa to move to her. So she'll be doing exactly this and grab a hold of her. Yeah, the clinch is definitely not the position. Latifa wants to be in right now. She needs to utilize the power from her hands. Ooh, Perhaps... jab there from Bochampu and another good knee. And now Bochampu being ahead on the scorecard. Keeping the toes into the body there. Oh! Good right hand from Bochampu. And again with that right hand. Straight into the clinch once again. Whether she connects or doesn't connect, it's the clinch. Yeah, it's I a like... pathway to victory, it seems. I was going to say, I like what Latifa is doing, much more aggressive than she was before that. But as I said, it's look at Boachampo pushing forward. That's a good block there, that time by Latifa. Right, back to the center of the ring they go. Latifa just over one minute now to try and knock down, or of course knock out Boachampo. Oh. to take home a draw, all that win. It's looking unlikely right now. Boachampo fighting as she should do with two rounds up. Yeah, on the back foot, defending. Oh, oh, good elbow there by Latifa. Much better there by the Swede. Yeah, absolutely, as we can see, Latifa's corner trying to tell her to push forward, apply more pressure. Again with that left elbow. Of course, if you do need a knockout, that is one need to go after it. 30 seconds left on the clock. Time running out now by oh. Latifa. Who beats the right elbow of her own. And again with the left elbow that time. Body shot by Latifa, who's looking for a left elbow. Oh, and then she walks in to a left hand, and Buachambu does what Buachambu does, and grabs a hold of her, and drives more knees to the midsection. 10 seconds left on the clock. Uh -oh. Right kick from Buachambu. It looks like she's gonna make it to the end and get her hand raised. Great oh, way to open the, the fight here wow. at RWS. Wow. Two very deep. Warriors, female warriors here in RWS. And a great sportsmanship here as well. Great action for the opening fight of the night. I know it was a tough battle, but both look like they enjoyed themselves in there. Let's have a look at the highlights of the fight. Good left hand there from Bo Chumpu. You can see Bo Chumpu, like I said over and over, was going after in the clinch. Oh, oh what a left oh, elbow. Oh. But there, this is the big difference maker in the fight. Very good knees coming in from Bo Champu. When she was able to find the elbows, she was throwing and connecting with them as well, especially in that third round. Wouldn't be surprised to see either of these ladies back here at RWS. A great performance, a great display of Muay Thai by all. What a, an amazing way to settle tonight's finals. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges, the score is about 30 to 27. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. Red Back to RWS and great drinking action after some great Muay Thai action. Yeah, absolutely. Bo Chumpu there putting on a clinic on how to finish, well, not finish your opponent, but demonstrate all the facets of how to clinch your opponent and lead them to victory. Yeah, great performance. Of, yeah, and of course, only 16 years of age, so bright future up ahead. All right, so let's go to the second bout of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our fighters from Iran, Mari. Vinom Muay Thai and his opponent from Morocco. Please welcome Ayub Satyan Muay Thai. And here he is, Mari, all the way from Iran, making his way to the ring with the scary look on his face. Looking to showcase his skills here in Ratchadamnan Stadium. Keeping it moving, don't switch up my code. Life full of circles, we out the A4. Just picked up some bands, come and come and 
And here comes his opponent from Morocco, the Moroccan Dark Knight, Ayub Nori, fighting out of Zafian Muay Thai Gym. Some very good fighters from Morocco over the years in the history of Muay Thai, including, of course, Youssef Bouganim. But let's welcome Ayub here to RWS. International flavor to this one, Iran versus Morocco. The second prelim of this very special RWS final night. And there you can see the tail of the tape for this one. Mahdi from Iran, he's just 24 years of age and stands at 180 centimeters. He weighed in at 149.8 pounds under the 153 pound limit and has a reach of 190 centimeters. He was born in Karaj in Iran and has a professional record of seven victories with three losses and one draw. Former Iran Muay Thai champion and has experience in three round fights. Started fighting Muay Thai at 16 years of age, eight years experience. Ayub, or Ayub Nouri from Morocco, is just 24 years of age, the same age as Mahdi. Stands at 178 centimeters, so similar height. He weighed in yesterday at 152.7 pounds, just under the limit, and has a reach of 185 centimeters. He is from Oued Zem in Morocco, and has a professional record of 11 victories with three losses. An 11-time Moroccan Muay Thai champion. Also has experience in the sport of kickboxing, has fought over 100 amateur fights, so an extensive amateur record, but nothing can prepare you for fighting in front of thousands of people here at the home of Muay Thai, Rajadhan Stadium, of course, on the biggest Muay Thai promotion, RWS. If you're just joining us around the world, this is RWS, Grand Final Night, where three of the five weight categories will be fought for in the final. We have the 118 pound bantamweight division. We've got Storm Raksami, the favorite taking on Now Prajan in what will be a rematch of the group stage fight. We have 135 pound lightweights. We've got last year's champion, Lam Nam Moonlek, taking on Samingdet, which is also a rematch from the group stages. And then in 140 pound, super lightweight, the main event of the evening, a fight that many people cannot wait to see. They fought twice before, over five rounds, well, this will be five rounds as well. And we've got one win for Capitan. One draw, it's Capitan, one of the favorites for the tournament, taking on Nun Lang Lek, the killer from Jit Muang Non. What a night of action. And for all those who are wondering, well, what's happened to 147 pounds and 154 pounds, the welterweights and the super welterweights, that will be next week. This is the first final night of two final nights over two weeks here at RWS. All right, here we go, second bout of the evening. I'm trying to work out what that tattoo says under the eye of Madi. Madi Venomoy Thai from Iran in the red corner and Ayub Satyen Moy Thai Jim from Morocco in the blue. Second of three scheduled prelims before we head into those final contests. Take it away, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second preliminary fight of the evening. This is Muay Thai. This is Russian of the introducing of referee on stage, Mr. Prin Han Tanabul. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the red corner, 24 years of age. He's 180 in his tall and ready minute and 49.8 pounds. He for record of seven wins, three losses and one draw. He is Iran, Muay Thai champion. Representing Iran, let's hear it for Madi Winner, Muay Thai. 
I want a blue corner, 34 years of age. He stands 178 centimeters tall and weighing 152.7 pounds. He on record of 11 wins and three losses. He is 11 time Morocco Muay Thai champion. Representing Morocco, let's hear it for Ayub Satian Muay Thai. All right, here we go. The second of three scheduled prelims here tonight. And this very special grand final of this year's RWS tournament. All right, here we go. Maddie, very passive right now. Ooh, beautiful left kick attempt. Uh, attempt well blocked by Maddie again. They're both looking very composed there. Trying to work out still what Maddie's got written under his eye. That's not a bruise. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> it's actually got a tattoo written under there. I'm not sure what it says. So when he's right knee. Both fighters, tactical, technical fighters. Ayub with the left kick, left push kick. Ooh, and the left hand. Maddie. Nice combination there. Right, Ayub looking for that elbow. Maddie, of course. Training out of Venomoy Thai, and as soon as you say someone's training out of Venomoy Thai, immediately ups their stock, and you start to believe that they could be one of the best fighters in the world. Yeah, what a absolutely. run they've had so far. A great team. Amazing. Come out of relative obscurity as well. Just ha seemed to happen overnight, which of course it hasn't, but props to all the team there at Venom. Yeah, absolutely. But not forget, a youth out of yeah. Satya Muay Thai. Yes. Another great gym as well. Absolutely. Good right hand there. To the midsection by Ayub. Left high kick, left push kick. Yeah, I don't like what Ayub is doing, being more aggressive. Mighty. Ooh, good counter shots though. And again, you can see that Ayub is looking Ooh, for the body strike to take down. down his opponent. Oh, attempted left high kick there by Mardi. Just missing. The Whoa, back. and the swing. Right high kick. Making me think now, I wonder if Lam Lam is going to have blonde hair tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he will. Maybe he will. Oh, that will attempt here from Maddy. Of course, Lam Lam last year's champion at the same weight, 135 pounds, looking to be, make history and become the only fighter to be a champion at, at the same weight. Of course, Som Ratsumi last year was a champion at 112 pounds. Of course, both fighters really good on a tactical level and this is why very often you see in Muay Thai you won't see just big shots and big mm. big exchanges both fighters trying to find the rhythm oh. and distance whoa ho, ho. that head kick missing by a little bit and you right elbow and a spin yeah, just grazing the uh, the fringe there left and right swinging hooks coming in but missing the target oh that's that one did it I'm not sure it was a head kick but something doesn't seem right with a you right oh. now oh, right elbow that was by Mardi, legs look like they've almost gone. Yeah, you're right. And you here, yeah, you're absolutely oh. wow. And here with the lead of a showboat, oh. the crowd is loving it. <laughs> now let's see if the skills are going to back this up. Pushing forward now. So far, pretty even fight. Left kick to the mid section there. Right, you. Solid round there from both fighters. <laughs> Not an easy round to judge. Yeah, no, I would have given it in center of Mardi, but after that kick up from the floor of a huge. Might have to give it to him. Shades of HBK. Good round of Muay Thai action here. As you can see, I think that's. I was going to say, is that Razor in the corner yeah, of Yeah, it was. Yeah, obviously fought last week. Defeat to Joe Ryan, but it's a good fight overall. I'm sure we'll see Razor back here at RDBS at some point. Actually, one of the top middleweight here in Russia Men's Stadium. Yeah, you can have a look at the replay. Good elbow, elbow attempt here. And here was the showboat. Performance bonus, right there. Absolutely, <laughs> some kung fu move. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, first round, star red and blue nine. 
Second just got red, ten blue nine. The third just got red, nine blue ten. All right, here we go. Of course, the fighter in the ring there, being cornered by and a very good Iranian fighter. Raise that. All right, here we go. Second round, there you can see how the judges scored it. They're pretty close, pretty even. Nothing is done yet. And everything is to be accomplished. Here. Yeah, I feel like you. a you during that first round, at least half the round. The first half of the round was performing very well, but he got caught with maybe too, too many elbows as he sneaks in an elbow of his own there. Good jabs as well there oh. by Ayub. He knows he's down on the scorecards and he's bringing the heat in this second round. Yeah, Maddie bringing a little bit of a zombie mode right there, <laughs> walking into those punches. You know someone's tough when they've got a tattoo under the right and above the right, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the clinch we go with Saul, the devastation that Ooh, can cause in yeah. the opening round. How you can win points. You see what Marty's doing, sticking his head under the chin there of Ayub, trying to tie it, and he's going back to the clinch. Ooh, Good elbow. elbow. Yeah, that, that's what he does as well when you seek the clinch. You can also have an effect. Yeah, you can tell. Oh! Strong left knee there by Marty. Yeah, much stronger position by Marty, and this is why he's oh. looking to just go back to the clinch. Ayub in trouble. Well, he's found a pathway to victory, that's for sure. He's so much stronger in the clinch. Good elbow there by Ayub. Ayub. You can see his mouth guard, he's out of his mouth. That oh. shows a sign that he's exhausted. Yeah, as absolutely. Marty goes back to the body. Ayub's throwing, he's trying to make something of this fight, but he's a sitting duck oh, right now. Those body think... shots are taking its toll. This could be the beginning of the end. With Ayub in trouble. Big, big oh, trouble. Me. Big, big trouble here. Yeah. Marty going in for the kill. Knees there. Oh, and Marty just so oh, much stronger here in the clinch. And down he goes, and this is it. The referee has called it. Victory for Marty out of Red of Muay Thai. Utilizing that beautiful clinch. Sinking the knees deep into the body wow. of Ayub. What a victory that was. Beautiful. And he puts his name in the hat for that KO bonus to Thousand bar potentially going to that man right there. Not that man. That man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great performance from Maddie. Again, it was a pretty even first round, but once we got to the second round, you could really see Maddie turn up the heat, and he knew he had the advantage in the clinch, and he just really went for it. That's right, and that's a sign of a very good fighter when they spot. All right, we're going to go straight to the replay. Of how this happened. There's that oh. left knee. Pretty much the straw that broke the camel's back before that. I feel he was done. You could see his mouth guard was out of his mouth. And the referee oh. making the correct oh. decision didn't even allow him to get back to his feet. He knew it was over. Yeah, he did set it. Maddie was just so much stronger in the clinch. He really that was. That definitely paid off. Almost a knee to the head there as well. Might even graze the nose. And the ref, great call by the ref, he knew it, this was it, it was only going to be worse and worse, so he called it, called it a fight and a great CEO victory. Ladies and gentlemen, after 1 minute and 48 seconds of the second round, we have a winner by way of Nigel Red to RWS and a great second prelim fight, Aaron. Yeah, we've seen a lot of celebrities here as well at RWS, <laughs> but a beautiful knee display there, a knee knockout by the by Madi from Venom Muay Thai, just showing all the facets of Muay Thai on display here at RWS. Two fights gone, and we've already seen one knockout. Let's bring out our last prelim bout before the RWS finals. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our fighters from Spain. Mayanes Ayman and his opponent from Thailand. Please welcome Wan Chalem, Pak Yok PK, Nuan Tong, Snooker Club. <laughs> Okay, 
And here he is back in Ratchetamon Stadium, making his way to the ring with a smile on his face. All the way from Madrid, Spain. We've seen him before, we know the power he possesses. Great middleweight fighter. This is Ayanish Aima. And welcome to the ring. His opponent from Thailand, Wan Shalom, Pat Yok, PK. Amazing fighter, former world champion. Of course, AWS now the home of the middleweights, giving more opportunities to that weight division than any other promotion. And what a massive opportunity for both these fighters. They have been in the, the ring with some of the best in the world. And now, for the first time, they are competing against each other. Spain versus Thailand. All right, let's have a look at the tail of the tape for this one. Nainash Amen is fighting actually out of Sik Song Pin Long Jin. That's where he's been training, along with the likes of City Chai. And of course, next week's finalist, Tanon Chai as well. He is 34 years of age now, stands at 183 centimeters. He weighed in at 159.9 pounds and has a reach of 189 centimeters. He was actually born in Kinshasa in the Congo, but he represents Madrid, Spain. He has a professional record of 70 victories with 22 losses and seven draws. A Spanish Muay Thai champion, the first IFMA, the amateur ranks of Muay Thai, the first IFMA medalist for Spain. And he's fought against Buakau, he's fought against Superbon, and he's fought against Petanong as well. And he's fought here on RWS previously with, a, with two fights, unfortunately two losses, looking to make his first victory here tonight against that man, Wan Chalum. Wan Chalum, Pat Got PK, Luotong, Snooker Glory from Thailand, 29 years of age and stands at 180 centimeters. He weighed in at 159.8 pounds and has a reach of 182 centimeters. He is from Chayapum here in Thailand and has a professional record of 80 victories with 15 losses and two draws. A former WMO super welterweight world champion, an IFMA bronze medalist, and he himself has been in the ring with some of the best fighters. He's been in the ring with Detrit, and that's actually the fight who Wanchalum, sorry, who Nyanesh lost to last time. He's beat Detrit. He's been in the ring with Yusef Bouganin, with City Chai, with Yodwi Shah and Pakon, he's been around a long, long time. Actually fought in the old Lumpini as well. Great champion in his day, but not so much these days. He's looking to regain his form and what a arena, the arena of Muay Thai to try and find that form. The big boys are out to play here at 160 pounds. Of course, last week we saw Joe Ryan beat the Razor to become the number one contender because last week we also saw Emerson Bento fighting out of Revolution Phuket <laughs> become the Rajadamnern middleweight champion as he easily overcame and defeated Beckham Banchamek. Yeah, absolutely, and these two men right here, like you said, will be climbing the rankings and potentially in the future become contenders for the title as well. Like you said, 160 pounds, the middleweights here in Ratchetman, stacked division and very interesting division. Yeah, absolutely. And like Antoine just said, there is rankings here at Ratchetman Stadium. I'm sure they're going to be updated very, very soon. We've been told that by the bosses. So, there you see Bernat. All right, here we go. Take it away, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the third preliminary fight of the 
Hilti. This is Muay Thai. This is Raja Damdan. Introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Satra Supasai. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. 34 years of age, he stands with it at 83 centimeters tall and weighing in at 59.9 pounds. He for a record of 70 wins, 22 losses, and 7 draw. He is Spanish Muay Thai champion, fighting out of Madrid, Spain. The children of Nayana. Opponent fighting out of the blue corner, 29 years of age. His stands went at 80 centimeters tall and burden that earned 59.8 pounds. He holds record of 80 wins, 50 losses, and two draw. He is Ifma, bronze medalist, and former WMO Super Welterweight Champion, representing Chayapum Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for one channel, Pakong PK, Nguyen Tong. Duka Club! All right, here we go. The third bout, the final prelim before the very exciting three finals start here at RWS. More middleweight action. I wonder if. Emerson Bento is watching. If he is, congratulations <laughs> to you and your team, Emerson. And of course, Joe Ryan's watching. Congratulations to you as well. Joe Ryan, current WMO middleweight champion. And uh, Wanchalem, a former WMO world champion, super welterweight. Oh, right, yeah, right, right away. Yeah, no, you mentioned, are they watching? And I'm sure they are, because these two guys are two of the, of the top in the division, of course. You know, middleweight means power. Absolutely. And all the middleweight fights that we've seen so far in our RWS have been some of the best and most oh, yeah. entertaining as well. Yeah, and I think it's a great weight class because it's it's a combination of speed, power, and of course technique here, you can see. You, you, you fought at 70 kg, right? Yeah. And I'm, then when you were on glory in kickboxing, you had to jump up to 77. Yeah, absolutely. Did you ever fight at 72? Yeah, I did, I did, yeah, I did. So I, I fought for, I, I fought at, the, at 72 for about two years. Ah, okay. And I have to say, that was probably the best time I had as a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, right away. Good right hand there from Wanchalun. Knocking back, Detch, uh, sorry, Nyanesh. Come on, I keep saying that. Left hook by Wanchalun once again. I like what Wanchalem is doing. Very aggressive, again, not used to fighting. Oh, good elbow from Nyanesh, and that slowed down Wanchalem, momentarily at least. Yeah, there was a lot of questions on Wanchalem being able to adapt to the three rounds format, but so far, so good for him. But then, yeah, Nyanesh not backing down. Ooh, beautiful left kick here. Of course, Yen Chen at Sutsan Pinong, another great gym. Absolutely. Left kick there by Wanchalem. Ooh. Like I said, these two have been in the ring with some of the very, very best. I mean, Nyanesh to fight Bancha, Team Banchamek almost at once upon a time. He's fought Buakau and he's fought Superbon. Of course, he's defeated Pechtanong as well when Pechtanong went up in weight. But last time out here at RWS, he struggled again. You know what? I actually thought it was a close fight, but the judges seem to give it in favor of Get Rip. Yeah, with that being said, that just means that with the experience this man possessed, he is scared of no one and has to fear no one. Even though tonight, Wanchalem, the more experience out of the two. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Make the kick and then throw a skinny back elbow. Beautiful technique there from Nyanesh. The crowd enjoying that one. But it's woke up Wanchalem who's trying to move forward. I like what Lach Wanchalem is doing. Pushing forward, saying, you better respect me. Oh, good kick to the midsection there, once again by Juan Chalun. Oh. Don't do it now, but we ever have time, go on to YouTube and type in Yusef Brukinem versus Juan Chalun. The highlights are absolutely incredible. All right, 
Interesting round. Yeah, very close round. Very round. Mayanesh might have won it, you know, with that spinning back elbow technique. It was that close. Yeah, definitely a tough round to judge. Yeah, you can see both fighters in phenomenal shape. Fresh. Much of them has actually been quite active recently. Close, hot and cold. He's, he has his moments of brilliance, but sometimes he seems a little bit lackluster there. You can see Nainesh taking down one. Oh. Good right hand there coming in from Wanchalan. There is that spinning back elbow. Might have been the cleanest shot Ooh. of the round as he takes Wanchalam off his feet. There's oh, that right hand combination. Right hand. Yeah, beautiful by Wanchalam. Close round. Oh, actually, it was blocked by the arm. How about that? Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges score red 10, blue 9. Time. And not just to guess by themselves, so they get to adjust their game plan in real time. Right, you can see in the corner there, you might have noticed the tattoo of a lipstick on his neck. Mikel Fernandez, who fought uh, Diesel like Petyindi a few months ago here on RWS. Very, very good, 122 pounder. Right low kick there by Juan Chalum. Oh, oh, great combination by Nainesh. Oh, and again. Oh, 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 Pushing forward, Wanchalum. Not sure how after those uppercuts. Good right hand there from the tie. Wanchalum knocking his head, saying he is still in the game. Is that true? Oh, an attempt of the right elbow there. You can see what Wanchalum is doing. He's looking for those elbows, and it seems like he doesn't mind eating a few punches as well. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Second, Good attempt. Second attempt. And I think he's hurt. He's still hurt. Wanchalum not looking 100% right now. Mayanesh still pushing forward, but the question is, Ooh. is he going to gas out after that big combination in the first minute of the round? Yeah, should, be noted, should be noted as well that Mayanesh is 34 years old. Oh, oh. Mayanesh! Oh. Look, left hook! Oh, oh and again! Right elbow, left hook there! How is Wachalam still standing? No idea. Your heart will be shown by Wachalam as he walks into another elbow. What an amazing second round of action here on RWS. Halfway through the second round. And the spinning elbow attempt he misses. Wanchalam still pushing forward, still the more aggressive fighter out of the two offers here. Oh, the combinations, the fury by Mayanesh. Oh, good elbow there from Wanchalam. I was just about to say, it looks like he's fading, but he's still throwing elbows. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Again, that left one. And that hurt Mayanesh. Oh, and now you're just looking like he's slowing down a little bit. He's left me there from Wanchalum. Oh, and the crowd. Yeah, the crowd are getting behind the tie now. They know that he's down on the scorecards and he needs help. Yeah, but the, the round is not over yet and he's not won by Nyanas yet, even though the first minute was definitely his arm. And again, oh, here, the fuel, yeah. he's hurt, he's hurt. The body might have gone. Oh, oh. going to try and throw a counter elbow. What a round. Nyanesh still oh, there. Beautiful, good shot there by Nyanesh. This is the situation within the clinch where Wanchalun can try this to try and separate. That's good for him. Oh, oh. walks into another elbow. Oh, oh, oh. Need to the big section. This is unbelievable. There's a reminder the finals are up next, boys and girls. Ramnam Nulet will be taking on Samingen. What a round, what a performance from the Spanish fighter, but I have to say, how is Wanchalem still standing? All heart there from Wanchalem, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Like you said, Antoine, he was getting beat and battered. Let's have a look at the highlights. Those elbows being freely thrown from Nyanesh. Wanchalum ducking down. And we thought it was the beginning of the end for Wanchalum. Yeah, absolutely. But for whatever reason, however reason, he was able to stay in there and will make it to the third round. And I think though, those uppercuts in the first 
minute of the round were the key element that changed the game. And after that, it was all power, all Absolutely. speed. Yeah, some of those punching combinations were exceptional by Nyanet oh, early oh, on in oh, that oh. second round. Stay with us, boys and girls. The third round will be coming up. Antelin back to his feet. He'd have to try and knock down or knock out Nyanesh. Yeah, and believe it or not, it can be tough mentally because when you've given your all and the other guy is still standing, sometimes it can affect, affect you. All right, here we go. Uppercuts there, of course, by Nyanesh. It worked so well. Oh, that didn't work though. No need for those spinning back elbows, to be honest. You're up on the scorecards. I'm not sure it's worth the risk. No, it's all or nothing for Juan Chalim. Left hook there by Juan Chalim looking oh, for the right. Oh, oh. But again, Nainesh clips him with the right. What a performance. Oh, good oh. right hand there from Juan And again! Oh. Nainesh is being backed up into the corner here. Oh, he's trying to spin him back elbow once again. Now balancing himself and wasting a little bit of energy. The heart of Wanchalem still pushing forward. Nayesh, hands up. You see that Wanchalem's looking for that right hand once again. I also think the body kicks have been doing a lot of good for Wanchalem. Oh, oh and Jirapa Good The combo's there. Left hook though from Wanchalem that momentarily knocked the head back of Nayanesh. Oh, good elbow oh. within the clinch there from Wanchalem. He's not going out without a fight here at Ratchetam Nerd Stadium. Yeah, absolutely. Wanchalem still in the game is about a minute and a half remaining on the clock. Nayanesh with the elbow. Oh, oh, double elbow, beautifully done. Manchalem again looking for that right hand. Both fighters looking for left kicks to the body. I feel like both of them are back to the gas tank in this fight. Yeah, absolutely. Three rounds packed action. Manchalem still pushing forward though. And I say both of them have not been in great form recently, so a win here would do them the world of good especially with the new rankings being published very, very soon here at Raja Abner Stadium. We've got some fantastic middleweight talent. Of course, we've oh, oh, oh. from Nainesh and oh, 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 oh. He's not blocking any of these. Oh! oh. Stunning left elbow from Wanchalu. Yeah. Every time that Nainesh throws a combination and thinks that he's way up on the scorecard, yeah, Wanchalu throws an elbow. This is the beauty of Muay Thai. When you think it's over, it's actually not. Oh. Spinning back elbow, six for seven attempts at that one. Under one minute to go now. What's been a brutal contest? What a performance from Nyanesh. See, Wanchler, yeah, Wanchler now on the back foot. I'm not sure he's got anything Ooh. left. Yeah, it's all it's just Hell Marys and you know he's got one. He has got one big punch or one big elbow in him, but I don't know if that'll be enough against. Someone is talking. There's Nyanesh who comes in here looking for the kill. I just got to say that the fact that Van Schellen is still standing is already amazing on its own. No kick there, but blocked. Van Schellen again looking for that elbow strike. Some beautiful elbows in that third round by Van Schellen. Oh, but Nyanesh showing. He's still got a lot of the time at the end. What a great fight wow. that was here on RWS. Great performance from both. Fighters. Of course, Nyanesh is going to get his hand raised. You can see he's celebrating in the ring. Great performance by the Spanish fighter. Great heart shown, though, by Wanchalim and great sportsmanship. Of course, we love to see that here on RWS. A big part of the sport of Muay Thai. Let's have a look at the highlights of your final prelim before we do move into the finals. Oh, those combinations. The precision. Nyanesh tonight was incredible. It really was. And I feel like he won that fight with his boxing skills alone. Yeah, absolutely. They were on point. Didn't throw many kicks, did he, Nyanesh? Yeah, he did not, but again. <laughs> oh, slick yeah. move. Nice. Good left hook. Looks like we've got some Spanish fans in here tonight. <laughs> yeah, and if, even if you're not a Spanish fan, you've got to become 
a Nioness fan after this performance. Oh, 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 and look at this shot. Angelin would just not go away. Yeah, absolutely. Nice elbow as well. Bang. All right, let's get official confirmation of the result. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges scored is about 30 to 27. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. Traditional music is an essential part of Muay Thai. It captures the heart and soul of the sports. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our Thai musical band, Rajanandan Pico Orchestra. Back to RWS Ratchet and Learn World Series Grand Final 2023. It's been a long road, it's been a difficult road, it's been a long five months for these fighters to get here tonight, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. Each fighter would have had to fight four times already in the space of five months. This will be their fifth and final bout. We have the 135 pound lightweights, we have the bantam weights for the females, and then to finish it off, we have the 140 pound super lightweight final three finals here tonight on rws yeah so let's have a look at the bracket and how they got here tonight there you can see in the lightweight division lamna moonlight defeated bua kiao and samming that defeated pet dam to meet for the second time here at rws this year in the bantamweight division, Nao Projan defeated one of the favorites, Zevgi. And last year's 112 pound champion, Som Ratsami, defeated Gamlai Pet to meet here in the final tonight. And of course, in the super lightweight division, Nung Lang Lek defeated Pet Tong Chai. And Kapitan defeated Chu Chorun to meet in your main event of the super lightweight division 2023 bracket. Yeah, and as you could see on screen, there is a 3 million baht prize tonight. So it is about the money, but it is not only about the money because it is about the glory. Because the belt they're going to receive tonight, the RWS Ratchet and Learn World title belt is very special, Aaron. That's right. When the parent company of RWS, GSV, took over Ratchet and Learn Stadium, not only did they update the stadium and put in a new ring, but they also created, of course, the beautiful RWS belt and what they did was they took a segment of the old ring and did two they incorporated it into the new RWS belt and there you can see that segment of metal the old 
with the new here at RWS, creating that beautiful belt. Yeah, and here you can see Lamna Munlek, the champions of last year, will be fighting here again tonight, as well as Somra Sami right there. So a lot of history has been made, and a lot of history will be made again here tonight in Ratchet Men Stadium. Again, we've talked about the three million baht, we've talked about the money, we've talked about the glory, but of course, there is another very special prize for these fighters, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. What we have here at RWS is what we call the MVP. Now, the MVP is the winner. So these five winners, one will be chosen due to the fact that they performed the best throughout this year's tournament, and they will win that right there, the Ducati Panigali V4S worth 1.329 million bucks. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. And of course, we have our weekly bonuses, which is the performance bonus, which is 100,000 baht, and the knockout of the night, which will be 200,000 baht for tonight. So very interesting to see who will be taking it. Obviously, in the first part, we have Lamna Moonlek taking on Samming Dead in the RWS lightweight final. And then moving on for the AWS female bantamweight, we've got Som Ratsumi, Manop Muay Thai Jim taking on Nao Prajan Luxai Gongdin. And then we have the AWS Super Lightweight 2023 final, Kapitan Pet Yindi Academy taking on Nung Lang Lek Jit Muang Na. Yeah, and of course, very, very exciting fight night. So the very first final tonight, and I have to mention it and talk about it, Lamna Munlek, he was the champion of, of last year. He was by far the favorite to get to the final, and here he is. But on the other hand, something dead. He was doing great and amazing and 130 pounds, but he moved up to 135. A lot of people questioned him and how he would do in this tournament, Aaron. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, like you said, Lam Namunget, last year's champion, undefeated here at RWS. Samming dead, he came up in weight, he made that bold decision, that bold move, and it's paid off because in the semi-final, he took out one of the favorites, Pet Dam. He already fought Lam Nam Mulek, let's not forget, and he took the first round off of the champion. So it just sets it up perfectly right now. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, get ready because this is the lightweight division grand final. I think I'm going to be a now through to the final and we'll be rematching Lamna Mulek versus Samming Dead in the final of the lightweight. I'm I've never seen anyone before. I've met Samming Dead. I'm tired and I'm tired. 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 It's RWS World Final for the Lightweight Championship of the World! Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? I feel like I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I'm going to get to play a game. I'm not going to win, but I'm not going to win. I want to play the game for the game. I'm excited that this is the game for the game. I'm excited that the game for the game will be changed. ครับมีชกผ้ายกก็วางแผนใหม่ครับแล้วก็เตรียมตัวใหม่เพื่อที่จะมาล้าตาพี่เขาครับผมก็อยากขอแชมป์อีกเส้นนึงครับเพื่อเป็นสมัยที่2ครับอยากเป็นเบอร์หนึ่งของรุ่นนี้ครับ Ladies and gentlemen, on the first final of the lightweight division, please welcome สมิงเดดโดนวัชิมอาลัมนามุนเล็กจีเดนกาสิโกโอโอเจอริโอ And here he is, the underdog of the tournament has made it to the final, coming here without any pressure, and here to make history. This is Sunday, no, on what to do. No time to play, got book dates, had a plan, only had to wait. I'm like chipmunks, man. I got this young.
And here comes last year's champion, Lamna Mule or Achilia, representing T. Bear Gao Gao Jim. One of the favourites, if not the favourite for the tournament, is of course in the final. Barely a scratch on him in the group stages. He was sensational as ever. But that doesn't matter. It's all about now. It's all about this fight for Lam Nam Moonlet. Many believe he's one of the very, very best 135 pounders in the world. And being a two time RWS champion, he'll solidify that. And yes, he does have a tint of gold in his hair. The golden boy of RWS has arrived. It's final time. Packed pass here at RWS, of course, for the finals. Lamna Mule, all in the favourite, but like Antoine said, perfectly put Antoine. Sammy dead, no pressure, zero. No one expects him to do anything in Absolutely. this final. There you can see the tail of the tape for your RWS 2023 lightweight final. In the red corner, Lamna Mule, or Achiria. Pak Gao T, Dead Gao Gao Jim from Thailand. 24 years of age, stands at 168 centimetres and has a, has a reach of 170 centimetres. He was born in Buriram here in Thailand. He has a professional record of something we didn't talk about, Antoine. 99 victories, 28 <laughs> losses and two draws. Yes, he is looking for his 100th win right now wow. in the finals. The 2022 RWS Lightweight World Champion he was the Sports Authorities of Thailand's 2021 Fighter of the Year. He's also a former WMC World Champion. One of the pound for pound best in the world. In the blue corner, we have Samindet Nor Anawut Jim, also from Thailand. Two years younger than Lam Nam Mulek at 22. He stands at 175 centimeters. Now you can see how these fighters progressed to the tournament. Lana Mule defeating, I think it's Dia in the first fight, and then Samming Dead in the second fight, and then Renta. And then, of course, defeated in the final four, Wokia. On the other side of the draw, there you can see how Samming Dead made it here. He defeated Renta. He lost to Lamna Mulek, he defeated D, and then in the final four, he was able to overcome and defeat pretty convincingly Pet Dam Pet in the Academy. So, something that seven centimeters taller than his opponent at 175 centimeters. Weighed in yesterday on the money, as did Lamna Mulek, 135 pounds. He has a reach of 70, 175 centimeters, which is five centimeters more than Lamna Mulek, and he's from Udon Thani in Thailand. He has a professional record of 82 victories with 42 losses and four draws. A former Rajdam Nun Stadium champion, a former WBC Muay Thai world champion, and also a former True For You, which is a five round promotion, one of the best here in Thailand, a champion of that promotion as well. We've got former world champion taking on former world champion, former fighter of the year, Fighter in Samindet, who was one of the very best at 130 pounds. And in fact, I believe that he ran out of competition at that weight, and that's why he decided to move up in weight and take on the RDS tournament. And what a great decision it's been because he has found himself in the final against the man who every Muay Thai aficionado, every Muay Thai expert would have expected to be there. That's that man performing his white crew, Alam Nam Mulek or Achiria Tibet Gao Gao, one of the Muay Thai geniuses. He, like I said, last year he came, he saw, he conquered, he defeated Wu Kiao. He was defeated in this year's competition, he defeated Bulari, he defeated Extra in the final four, and then in the final of last year's competition, he overcame. Hong Kong girl saw some eye, which means that right now he is 9 and 0 in RWS. And in his last 10 fights overall, he's won 9 and only lost 1. 
something that current record here at RWS is three fights, sorry, four fights, three victories, one loss, the only loss coming to Lam Nam Moon Left. In his last ten fights, he's won seven and lost three. But the three fights he lost against Hong Noi, Kapitak and Lam Nam Moon Left just goes to show what a great fighter he is. Take it away, Mr. Beer! Ladies and gentlemen, we are now entering RWS Russia the Band World Series Tournament 2023 Grand Final of the Lightweight Division, Super Lightweight Division, and Female Bantam Bird Division. Fighting in the rules of five rounds, Muay Thai. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to start RWS Final of the Lightweight Division. We are live from the birthplace of Muay Thai to over 200 countries around the world! This is Muay Thai! And this is Roger Dundee! Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is brought to you by Dota K Corporation, sponsor and pumpkin. And introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Narin Hong Hee Ran. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting now on the blue corner, 22 years of age. He stands with an and 75 centimeters tall and weighted with an and 35 pounds. He will record on 82 wins, 42 losses and 4 draw. He is former 2 for you champion and former WBC Muay Thai World Champion and former Russian of the Stadium Champion representing Udon Thani Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Samindad No Anuad Chan! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, 24 years of age. He stands with an and 68 centimeters tall and weighing that and 35 pounds. He already got on 99 wins, 28 losses and 2 draw. He is former WMC World Champion and 2021 Fighter of the Year and RWS 2022 Lightweight World Champion representing Urira Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Lamna Mulan Tidet Tasuka or Antonia! Five months, four fights. It all comes down to this. One of these men will be walking away with three million baht. Five rounds, three minutes. It's Lam Nam Moonlet taking on Samingek. Lam Nam Moonlet starts fast. Remember, in the good stages when they fought, Samingek took the opening round. And then he said in the video, in the promo, that he went out in the second round too fast, too keen, and Lam Nam Moonlet was able to counter strike. So it's going to be interesting the way that Samingek approaches this. And you see already he's looking a bit more cautious, taking his time. By the way, Samingek pushing forward. Making sure he blocks the kicks of Lamna Moonlek. As we all know, this will be the weapon of choice. Oh, oh beautiful high kick from Samin Dead. He looks in tremendous shape with Samin Dead. Really grown into that frame at 135 now. Yeah, let's not forget five rounds of Muay Thai actions. Open scoring here. And RWS, beautiful left kick. Oh, one of the things about Lamna Moonlek, though, he is a master of fighting off the back foot. In this position right now, he won't care at all. He's completely comfortable with counter striking. And I like what Sunny Dad is doing though. He's not waiting. He is pushing forward, not wasting any time. Oh! <laughs> well, he ducked under, but apparently got clipped with an elbow strike. Good start this from both fighters. Sunny Dad, especially, has to be said. Of course, he's not the favorite for this, but he's still a highly skilled world champion. 
Pakistani get. And you can see both fighters very composed. Cherry oh. kicks there. And Lamont left gets the better of it. Crowd are going crazy here tonight. You can see that both fighters have brought a lot of fans with them. And this is Muay Thai out its finest. The chess game. Absolutely. Good low kick there from Sam Get. Sam Get is still stalking. And the moonlight delivering a left kick and a right. And it's fair to say that Sam Get is the one pushing forward. But so far, London and left getting the battle out of these exchanges. Oh, yeah, that was a good left kick there from Landon Moulet. Get, every time he moves in with the hands, he gets, he gets kicked, he gets counter-struck. Gotta be careful about that. I know he's eager. A chess game of kicks. Their footwork, timing, accuracy. The whole package of Muay Thai left kick here again by Landon Moulet. And block! Oh, just <laughs> over the top! Wow! Amazing! <laughs> We do not see this every day. Central left hand there for Samiget once again. Misses the mark. That was better by Samiget. Surprised he hasn't gone back down to the legs. Connected with a beautiful low kick earlier in the round. Got the 10 seconds now to go in round number one. Close round. Absolutely great round for both fighters. Ooh! Look at this again from Samiget with the hands. Slick. Both the fighters going back to the point of confidence. Yeah, both fighters think they're good enough to take the round. As do both of the fighters' fans going crazy here at RWS in Ratchet Amnurm Stadium. But of course, RWS judging says that they cannot draw the round. You can't draw the fight, but you cannot draw the round. Good right high kick there. Oh, look at this. See, he got turned a bit, he did get clipped. The timing of these fighters, this is the top level of Muay Thai. Absolutely. You can see Lamna Lulek controlling Slamming Dead, taking him down. Again, grabbing a hold. Lamna Lulek making it look that, making that look easy. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges score red 10, blue 9. He does want to play the second belt. Now in the driving seat as we head into round number two. All right, here we go. Second round. And it's a way. Same scenario. Yeah. Lama <laughs> <laughs> Moonlight on the back feet. Sanger pushing forward. Blocking that low kick this time. Yeah, I'd like to see Sanger switching it up with maybe some punches. Switch the timing. And then like an expert as you've mentioned, Adam, fighting on the back foot. Absolutely. Good right kick to the midset. Turn the left there. Oh, 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 as soon as he flips the switch and decides to go aggressive, he looks great. And they do know each other well. They fought in the tournament before, as you've mentioned. Oh, and the left kick. Beautiful exchange, and something they're getting the best out of it. Yeah, something that using those long limbs. I'm trying to use those long limbs to his advantage. But, you know, Lama Nuna more than capable of fighting. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and so again, in Muay Thai, they say it's easy. You can either block it or you kick back. And here, you can see something that are playing that. Something that going in with that left high kick. Lama Nuna trying to counter with the left hand. It's a good round, a good open round. Sorry, second round, should I say. Open to the round by Sammy Get so far. They're doing much better this round than he was. Again, one and a half minute remaining in the second round. And he's, he's not rushing as well. Yeah, absolutely. He's not panicking. He's still throwing shots just like that. Oh. Looking very composed. He's not out of this at all. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Both fighters very composed. This is the top level here in that Shenmue Stadium. Oh, and look oh, at this. One, two. Stunning there from Lamnat Mullet. Going in with that left mid-section kick as well. Sammy Get looks to throw a left hand but misses. Ooh! Left hand there from Lamna Get moves forward. Close fight, close round. Three million baht up for grabs. Oh! Lamna Mulek gets the best, the better out of this action. Sammy Get. Still very composed, pushing forward. Ooh, good kick there. 
What an exchange! Oh! oh, oh, oh. Magnamulek may just be getting the better of the exchanges here. As we, we've got 45 seconds left on the clock. Right kick there from Samingdev. Swing the knee! Oh! oh. left hand by Samingdev. Warning shot to Magnamulek. Chess again, a game of timing, again, a game of precision from those fighters. I'm not sure that will be enough to take the round. But at least Samingdek is getting in a few stri strikes there to try and slow down. Oh, look there. at that. At least give you something to think about. Nine seconds left on the clock. So a lot of people believe that if the fight keeps going at this rhythm, it might be in favor of Lana Mullet, but he has something they're very confident at the end of the second round. So let's see what, what the judges saw. Yeah, close round, but I, I honestly believe that Lana Mullet did enough to take the round. Of course, that's unofficially. Let's have a look at the highlights from round number two. We were both throwing good left kicks to the body. Beautiful hands there from Lana Mullet. We didn't really see that in the opening round, but he brought it out this round. That was a beautiful left hand there from Samming Det. There, Lam Nam Mulek twisting Samming Det around. There you can see that left hand. Might have been the shot of the round. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges Score red line, blue 10. And for the total score, all three judges score 19 to 19 even. The moon leg. Now we turn the group stages. Of course, the final four, this will be the final round. It is not, this is five rounds in the final. Samingdek seems really buoyed by the fact that he won that round. Let's see what happens in round number three. All right, here we go. Very important round for both fighters, that's for sure. Double left kick from Alamna Munlek. And again, same scenario. Samingdek slowly pushing forward. Both fighters very accurate, as we know. Oh, and the left kick again. And Samingdek caught with a good low kick there. That time blocked. The right kick to the midsection by Lam Nam Mulek. And again, and I have to say, this is the third round. The third form, over hundreds of kicks already. <laughs> Lam Nam Mulek almost going high that time. But again, same scenario. Samingdet is the one who's pushing forward. Lam Nam Mulek is the one who's looking to counter strike. Both fighters going good left in kicks to the body. And of course, to the legs. Ooh. Verbal game of chess in full flow right here in the RWS final. Yeah, but I have to say, what an amazing defense from Sunning there tonight. Mm. Slowly pushing forward, not rushing him, not falling into any traps. Oh! And here you see timing. Amazing there by Sunning Dead. Oh, 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 one for one. <laughs> you are gonna love this here in RWS. Lamna Munlek so composed, and this is why he was the favorite. But look at something there tonight. Like we said, no pressure at all. Something that push teaching it away. Lamna Munlek as he goes into the left. Oh, looking for the left hand, left kick there by Samming Det. And I like what Lamna Munlek is doing. He's not necessarily waiting. Oh, beautiful exchanges there from the former champ. I feel like Lamna Munlek might have got the better of those exchanges, though. Two left hands. This is so close, yeah, so it tense, is. It feel it. Is. Right kick to the body there by last year's champion. Something get moving forward, looking for that left kick. Right oh. kick to the body. Oh. Good exchange from both fighters. The left kick with the block from sending there. Oh, and a one-two. Oh. Lama Mulek now showing a little bit more aggression in round at number three here. Absolutely, I like the switch with, yes. the, with the boxing right now. I'm also interested to know that something that is now on the back foot and it's Landa Mulek is the one who's pushing the pace. The back kick, the oh. back to the there by oh. And Sunning there more confident than ever as you can hear the crowd going crazy. Now fighting on the back foot. Oh, good right hook there from Landa Mulek. Yeah, but 
I feel like Sam again. He's, he's been needing a change when he saw the fact that he won that second round. It was almost like a bag of rocks fell off his back. He stood up, he cheered, he applauded. He's looking really fresh in round number three as well. Oh, oh beautiful out. action. Just as I say that, with 10 seconds left on the clock by Lamna Mule. Another very, very close round here at RWS. Perhaps that last action might have been one what helps Lambda Mullet to win the round or not. As Aaron said before, we're not judges. <laughs> so we'll leave it to them. It is interesting how all three judges scored it the exact same way in rounds number one and number two. Number one, all Lambda Mullet, and number two, all Samin did. Mm. Let's have a look at the highlights from round number three. It was almost a tale of two halves of oh, that round. Samin gets beautiful. started really well. And he was able to take down Lamna Mule. But then Lamna Mule got his own back and at the end of the round was able to drop Samingen with a sneaky sweep as we look at the handiwork there from Samingen. What a great fight here at RWS. Ladies and gentlemen, in the third round, all three judges go red, nine, blue, ten. And for the total score, all three judges go red, 28, blue, 29. Just needs one more round. Unbelievable action here at RWS. Here we go. Four rounds. It might be the round of his life here for both these fighters, in fact. Lamna Mule desperately needs to try and even the score. Samming dead. If he wins this round, then wow. He's almost there. Doesn't he know it? Here we go. Round four. Left high kick. Yep, Lamna Mule now being aggressive. And if Lamna Mule doesn't win this round, that's going to be trouble. Yeah, Absolutely. Very aggressive right away. Something that more confident, confident than ever. Ooh, and a takedown. Almost. You can, feel, you can feel the tension, you can feel the fact that Lamna Mule is losing as well. And Samingen is fighting with a smile on his face right now. Oh, Lamna Mule losing his footing there. And we knew Lamna Mule was a master at defending and counter attacking. But look at Samingen here. Oh, amazing by Samingen. Beautiful counter strike there. And again. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Not as easy as expected, and oh. this is the beauty of RWS. Don't count out Lamna Mulek there as he moves forward, got left hand. Yeah, I feel like the, the range of Samingen is just on point here today. Oh, oh, good oh good right beautiful up. hands. But Lamna Mulek, remember it's not panic stations just yet. Win the round. Yeah, absolutely oh, beautiful shot here. And you said it win the round and go to a judgment round. The fight is not over yet. Not for the champion, not for a man like that number left. Good left knees there and right's coming in from both fighters. Attempted left hand from Lamba Mule. I'm not sure that snuck through or not. Lamba Mule just edges a little bit closer, looking for that left kick up blocked again by Samingdet. Yeah, Samingdet. Again, Samingdet throws that right kick as Lamba Mule moves forward. But low kick there. Low kick by Lamna Mule. Midsection kick by Samming there. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Such a strike. Throws that left hand. Yeah. And real power, but nowhere near Samming there. And the crowd, his fans are enjoying that one. Yeah, perfect timing by Samming there tonight. But low kick oh! once again. <laughs> what a shot from the champ. I think he just grazed his head with that shot Woo as well. Mulek going up high. Oh, good right hook there. Oh, he stumbles. He stumbles. Oh, that's just Lamna Mulek. Low kicks there from Lamna Mulek. Left hand. Tempt an elbow coming in from last year's champ. Wow. That might have turned the tide. He's getting closer and closer this round. Yeah, and this is why this is the final. Ladies and gentlemen, you're witnessing the highest possible level of Muay Thai here. Oh, and a left kick. Tempt in left hand from Lamna Mulek. Oh. To get there from Lamna Mulek. Surely he's done enough now in this round to take it. Yeah, I've got to agree with you. Even though he's got a small cut, I believe. 
Tommy Gates still can't win the day. Oh, good spot on the right. Eyebrow is good. Both sets of fans are cheering. They think that fighter did enough in that round. Wow. I honestly think, I honestly think, even though he did get caught a few times, Lamna Mulek was more aggressive yeah. and connected with more strikes in that round. But what do I know? Yeah, Let's have a look. Agree. Let's have a look. Have a replay of round at number four. Really, really important round. Samidek started well on the back foot, but oh. Lamna Mulek was able to catch him with some punches and elbows within the round. Something that Samidek didn't really do. Mm. But he defended very, very well and caught Lamna Mulek some beautifully timed kicks to the body and to the legs. This is very tense. Ladies and gentlemen, in the fourth round, all three judges score red 10, blue 9. So the total score, all three judges score 38 to 38, even. So the next round will be the judgment round. Win the round, win the fight. The round, you win the fight, you win three million baht, you get to call yourself the RWS Champion for 2023. So Talk about all or nothing, talk about pressure. Whew. So intense right now. And we will find out who will become the champion of and this year. And I was about to say, I wonder how they're going to do it. I wonder if Lamna Mulek is going to push back. I wonder if he's going to continue to push forward. And he is. Lamna Mulek is being the aggressor right now. He paid off in round number four. He's paying off so far in round number five. Lamna Mulek going after him. Kicks to the body here from last year's champion. And again with that beautifully timed left kick. I wonder how Sammy get this feeling. I wonder if he thought that he won that fourth round. Could this be? This is tense. Stadium really quiet right now. Sammy get this trying to. Stop this onslaught by Lamna Mulek. Tempting low kick there from Lamna Mulek. Seems to have fought, seems to have found, sorry, a sixth gear out of nowhere. There was moments early on in that fourth round where I thought he looked deflated. Not the case. Something dead now on the front foot. I only can assume that he believes that he's down on the scorecards and Lamna Mulek thinks that he's up and that's why we're seeing what we're seeing right now. Something dead pushing forward. Push kick there from Sammy Depp. More left kicks coming in from Lamna Mulek. Nice edge sort of stuff here at RWS. Sammy Depp stalking Lamna Mulek. Looking for that left hand and finds it. Some great hands thrown in the fourth round and we've seen some good hands being thrown by Lamna Mulek in round number five as well as Sammy Depp looks for that left high kick. Under 90 seconds left now in this year's competition at Lightweight. Sammy Nugget looking for that left kick, unable to find it. You've got to feel that Lamna Mulek right now is in the driving seat. Sammy Nugget pushing forward, good left kick to the body, that will score. Is it enough though, one minute left on the clock. Low kick again there by Lamna Mulek. Unable to wobble Sammy Nugget with a left kick. Sammy Nugget looking for the left hand, but blocked with that left kick again by Lam Nam Moon Leg. Left kick there through the guard by last year's champ. What a fight these fighters have put on. What a tournament, tournament it's been. That guy kick for Lam Nam Moon Leg. This is looking very, very good for last year's champion. 30 seconds left. Something that looking for a knee but blocked again by Lam Nam Moon Leg. The most straight and round here, in my opinion, for Sammy Depp. Final 15 seconds on the clock. These fighters have fought hard and trained since May this year. This is their fifth fight in as many months. All fighters won, the, won two rounds in the first four. It's coming down to the fifth and final round. 
An unbelievable performance there for both fighters. I've got to say, Lam Namulek there is looking a lot more confident going back to his corner than Samindet is going back to his. I feel they think that he's done enough to take it away from Samindet. A very valiant Samindet, whatever happens here tonight. He has staked his claim as one of the best at 135 pounds, no doubt about it. All right, well, there has to be a winner due to the fact that it was drawn after four rounds. What a fight. Let's have a look at the highlights from the fight. There, beautiful left kicks from Sami, sorry, from Lam Namule. Losing my voice, I've got two final fights to go here. Lam Namule twisting Sami Det up earlier in that fight. But of course, Sami Det fought back. And it was up by two rounds to one, going into that fourth round. What an amazing fight. The atmosphere here at Rajan Amnon, adding to the occasion as well. But Lam Namulek, I believe he did enough in round number five to take it. I'm off. I've been wrong before. I'm sure you're well aware of that, fans watching around the world, on the zone in 200 plus countries and territories. Beautiful right hook there from Sammy Dead, but is it to be in vain? All right, here we go, the official confirmation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage the manager of the National Sports Development Fund, Dr. Suprani Guptasa. And right here with us on the stage with the WS Champions Belt. Mr. Ben Tien Chai, Vincent Putinan, President of RWS and Board Director of Russian Men's Stadium. And now, ladies and gentlemen, of the five rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges scored his book 48. 247. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. And now the US 2023 Life and Champion of the World for the winner. Whoa! And 2023 Live Red World Champion! Love the Moonlet! Tina does go! Oh! Arturia! All right, ladies and gentlemen, the double champ. How are you feeling right now, Tony? Ben champ, two years old. Tony, how are you feeling? I'm very happy. Very happy. Very happy and very proud. Before this, I talked to you. You said if you become double champ, you still have another goal you want to accomplish. Tell us about it. Before this, I talked to you. You said if you become double champ, you still have another goal you want to accomplish. ยังมีอีกหนึ่งเป้าหมายอีกหนึ่งเป้าหมายของลำน้ำมูลเล็กคืออะไรครับก็อีกหนึ่งเป้าหมายก็คือแชมป์ราชดำเนินครับที่ผมเฝ้ารอคอยมาตั้งแต่เด็กครับหมายความว่าอยากจะได้2เส้นบวกกับแชมป์ราชดำเนินไปด้วยใช่ครับผม My new goal is I want to be the double R W S champ plus the ราชดำเนิน stadium สุดท้ายมีอะไรอยากจะฝากให้กับแฟนๆครับก็ฝากพี่น้องแฟนมวยทุกคนครับวันนี้ผมก็ทําสําเร็จแล้วครับสิ่งที่ผมตั้งใจไว้ผมซ้อมมุ่งมั่นมาอย่างหนักครับ
ตั้งแต่มีรายการ RWS นี้มาผมรู้สึกภูมิใจมากครับจากที่เป็นนักมวยคนหนึ่งครับที่จะไม่มีค่อยมีรายการโชคเท่าไหร่ครับตั้งแต่มีรายการนี้ขึ้นมาก็ผมขอขอบคุณมากครับที่ผมได้มาต่อรายการนี้ทําให้ผมมีรายได้เลี้ยงครอบครัวครับขอบคุณจากใจครับผมโอ้โหพูดซะยาวไม่เห็นใจคนแปลเลยครับ All right, so I want to thank everybody. I used to be a fighter that didn't have that much opportunities, and today I've made it. Today I've become the RWS champion. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Your champion, Lamnamun Lek, Jidet 99, or Acholiya. RWS and wow, what an amazing performance from Lamna Munlek. Absolutely incredible, I have to say. That's one of the, on maybe the best ever Muay Thai final of a tournament I've ever witnessed. And that's why he was down on the scorecards. That's why he is one of the very best in the world, one of the pound for pound greats. And now a two time, two year RWS champion. And a great question that you asked him as well there, Antoine. He's now got his sights set on the Rajdam Nun Stadium title. Yeah, of course. And now the female bantamweight final, Aaron. Well, yeah, of course. In, in the last bout, we just saw that Lam Nam Nun was the clear favorite against Samingdet. And that has to be said that Som Ratsmi is the favorite for this fight. But if now Prajan can dig deep and find something like what we saw from Samingdet, anything can and will happen here in the sport of Muay Thai on RWS. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so please welcome our fighters because this is the female bantamweight final fight. <laughs> คู่ที่จะชิงชนะเลิศกันครับเงาว่าจะลูกสายกองดินครับจะเจอกับทางด้านโสมรัศมีมานบกิมครับปีที่แล้วครับเธอเข้าการแข่งขันอาร์เวสของเราเพราะว่าอยากได้แชมป์เธอจะทําได้ครับปกติหนูจะต่อยเวทร้อยสิมาตลอดแต่มาปีเนี้ยเรามาต่อยร้อยสิบแปดก็เป็นความท้าทายให้กับตัวเองอีกอย่างหนึ่งค่ะเงาว่าจันครับเป้าหมายคืออยากจะได้เงิน3ล้านบาทเนี่ยเพื่อไปดูแลลูกน้อยของเธอครับการชกมือของหนูคืออาชีพหนูหาเลี้ยงตรงนี้แล้วหนูก็ต้องทําหน้าที่แม่ให้มันดีถึงแม้ว่าหน้าที่หนูกำลังจะทําอะไรอยู่หนูก็ต้องเป็นแม่ที่ดีสำหรับลูกค่ะเธอผ่านเข้ามาสู่รอบไฟแนลโฟได้ด้วยอันดับที่2ของสายครับไปสนุกแพ้หนึ่งไฟนั่นก็คือแพ้กับท่านั้นโสมรัศมีมานบยิมครับการชกวันนั้นหนูวางแผนผิดผมเป็นมวยซ้ายแล้วหนูอยู่ไปนานถึง4ปีหนูเตะขาซ้ายมาตลอดชีวิตเลยแต่พอหนูเปลี่ยนเป็นขาขวาหนูรู้สึกว่ามันไม่ใช่หนูอ่ะวางจดขอส่งแล้วจะหนูดูที่ต่อทีครับแล้วก็จับที่วันเราได้เปลี่ยนที่สดกว่าแล้วหนูก็แข็งแรงกว่าฮะก็เลยไฟแล้วก็เลยทำที่หนูชนะไปต้องบอกเลยว่าหนูไม่ประมาทน้องค่ะถึงจะเคยแพ้มาแล้วหรือว่าฟอร์มเราดีขึ้นหนูก็ยังคงวางแผนการชกคิดว่าหนูก็จะเอาความสุขของหนูไปบวชเขาเหมือนกันค่ะเพราะว่าเราเข้ามารอบลึกกันทั้งสองคนแล้วไม่มีใครอยากพลาดกันหรอก We will potentially be able to fight for that three million dollars Now let us check this was the final of the final let's go to the show Ladies and gentlemen, RWS final of the female bantamweight division. Please welcome Somrasami, Manapoint Thai Gym, and Lau Prachan, Lu Sai Gong Dan. And here comes Somrasami. The 2022 RWS champion, as confident as ever, and looking to become the very first female two divisions RWS champion. This is Sobrasami Manop Jim.
All right, and here she is coming to the ring, carrying her daughter. The reason that she left Muay Thai for four years is to have her family and raise her daughter. She decided to come back for this year's tournament. Welcome to the ring. Welcome to the RWS 2023 final. Now Prajan looks Sai Gong Din. A family affair here as ever with Nao Pajan and the Luxai Gong Din team. And they can see Rotang, her sister Ada. And Rotang is the brother-in-law of Nao Pajan, married to the sister. She looks, like she, she looks like she's enjoying herself. Ratchanamon Stadium, 78 years old Muay Thai Stadium, and tonight is history. And they can see the tail of the tape for the final of this year's 2023 female bantam weight division in the Rakona, Som Ratsani Manop Muay Thai Gym. She is from Thailand and she is 20 years of age. She stands at 169 centimeters. Of course, weighed in on the money at 118 pounds. She has a reach of 167 centimeters and is from Chiang Mai in the north of Thailand. She has a fantastic record of 43 victories with six losses. This is her 50th professional bout. The 2022 flyweight world champion, Ifma, the amateur rank of Thai silver medalist and an IPCC Muay Thai and a BMO and Muay Thai Junior Cup gold medalist. In the blue corner, Nao Prajan Luxai Dong Thin from Thailand, 23 years of age, stands at 170 centimeters, so one centimeter taller than Som Ratsumi. She also weighed in yesterday at 118 pounds, has a reach of 100 and 68 centimeters, one centimeter more than her opponent. She was born right here in Bangkok, Thailand, and has a professional record of 34 victories with 11 losses and 10 draws. A former Super Fight Tournament champion and a former NPF Fighter Champion, former Ram Loy Stadium Champion. These two going at it for the second time. Just like we saw Samingat and Lamna Moonlight. They were, that was, should I say, a rematch of the group stage fight. And this is the two. In the group stage, Som Ratsumi was able, able sorry, to overcome. Now for Jan, she is undefeated here at RWS. The Group B winner versus the Group B runner up. So I'm Ratsumi. Well, how did she get to the final in her very first fight here on the 13th of May this year? She defeated Gabrielle Moram Revolution Phuket. Then on the 17th of June, she defeated Nao Prajan. And on the 22nd of July, she was able to overcome Sarah Gohei from the US of A. In the final four, she deleted Pet Yindi fighter, Gamlai Pet. And they can see Son Ratsumi's mother and younger sister in attendance supporting family, of course. And of course, a packed house here at Rajadamnon Stadium. That could be because how the whole family of looks like on Dini's here. <laughs> they make up the numbers, believe yeah, me. Absolutely. 16 brothers and sisters. And you can see family there's Ada. Of course, Zydinia, who's fought here at RWS, also in attendance. It's also a sister by the name of Pet Sorasha, who's also fought here at RWS. All right, well, it's tense, and it's understandable. 
3 million baht up for grabs. Take it away, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to start RWS final of the female Bantamweight division. Fighting in the rules of five rounds Muay Thai. This is Muay Thai. This is Russian and then. This bout is brought to you by all new Mitsubishi Triton, Lotus Mattress, Train Rubicans, and Colgate. And introducing our referee on stage, Miss Punya on Penwood. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting about the red corner, 20 years of age. She's first when it earned 69 in missile and winning when it earned 18 pounds. She for record of 43 wins and six losses. She is IPCC Muay Thai and Muay Thai Junior Cup gold medalist and IFBA World Muay Thai Championship silver medalist and RWS. 2022 Flyweight World Champion representing Chiang Mai Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Som Rasumi Manap Muay Thai Champion. And opening fighting. On the blue corner, 23 years of age. She's first, when it and 70 is in the top, and ready, when it and 18 pounds. She, for record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and 10 draw. She is former Ramning Roy Stadium Champion, and former MPF Fighter Champion, and former Super Fight Tournament Champion, representing Bangkok, Thailand. Let's hear it for Ngao Brajan, Lu Two very proud females. Five rounds, two minutes, three million baht. All the numbers that you need to know. But here's some more. Now Bajan, currently four and one here at RWS. So Ratsby, in tournament competition, is 9-0. But in the history of RWS, the promotion, she is 10-0. Five rounds of Muay Thai action. The big question when Malpijan returned to the ring was how was she going to be able to cope with the, the pace here at RWS over three rounds? Well, her first fight, she fought against an Italian girl of Raquel Malatesta at 130 pounds. And she, <laughs> she struggled. So she made weight, but she struggled. So when we heard that she was going to compete at the 2018 tournament, we were questioning whether she could <laughs> make it or not. Not only has she done that, but she is through to the final. Ooh. Good hand there, good right hand. Those exchanges from both fighters, great Muay Thai action. Again, the, the big question was always, is Napajan gas tank big enough to last five rounds well we're about to find out the song last time right away very aggressive and doing exactly what she should be doing if she wants to be oh good right hand right kick here from now Pajan. yeah like Antoine said she struggled I believe in the what, first two fights in the group stages she was getting tired very early and all of a sudden as she's training more as she's getting more confidence she was getting better and better, and in the final four against Zephy, she was very, very Ooh. impressive. Good left hand there from Son Ratsumi, and again, and again, two or three left hands there by the Queen of Rajadam Nern. Great to see a female ref, I'm glad you said that, Anton. Again, making history here at RWS with the first female ref. What yeah. a proud moment it must be for her and her family as well. Yeah, I have to say that Napachan will be utilizing the fact that this is a female referee in her advantage and a lot of people might be confused how but this is here you can see in those few moments in the clinch work now the time the more experience out of the two will look to waste some time great first round of muay thai just gotta say as well Sam rats me going back she feels like she's been enough to take the round now Prajan, i don't want to see it but she already looks like tired antoine yeah she does 
he does, and that is not a good sign. Again, a very close round, difficult to judge. But here, the left hand, the precision of Somra Sami might have been the difference. Yeah, and now for Jan, she actually, she started really well. But just like she does time and time again, oh. Somra Sami figures her opponents out very quickly and realizes what weapons will go through the defense of the fighter. And it was that left hand. Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, our three judges, score red 10, blue 9. The best 135 pounders. Interesting to see him versus Lamna Moonlet. Just putting that out there. I'm not saying that will ever happen, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Round number two. All right, here we go. What is Malpatan going to do in this difficult second round? Gets a right high kick there by now Prajan. Oh, looking for that right hand, but so that's me so good at avoiding strikes. He's very slick. Good knees here. Good work there. At least the knees. Good defending there by Son Ratsamy. He delivers a good right knee as well to the midsection. Yeah, and again, I don't know if this is the right game plan. On the longer run, those clinching moments are exhausting. Is this the right game plan for now I don't know, but Son Ratsamy moving forward right away. And that's me so good. Even when you think oh. she's down, she'll throw a one-two combination out of nowhere. She's very, very fast. And here you can see the referee struggling to separate both fighters. Right away, Mapatan looking confident in the center of the room. Good oh. luck to the time, but the timing of some Rasami. Deep breath already from Mapatan. Timing beats speed. Accuracy beats power. Oh! Again with those knees. Oh, and again. Malpajan is doing their absolute utmost to her best. They try and stay with some rats and deliver good knees, but I think you're right. I think it could be empty in a gas tank. She's doing that as well. Yeah, and that was the pace of some rats right away. And perhaps the pressure. You're fighting for a title. You're making history here in Russian Men's Stadium. Three million bots on the line. All right, final 20 seconds on the clock now in round number two. So that's a new, confident as ever. Ooh, good right kick from yeah. Nalpachan. Even acknowledged there by Son Ratsumi. <laughs> Son Ratsumi, she knows that she can keep tying up Nalpachan. Not only is she going to score, but she's going to deplete the energy resources with inside now the jam. Another good solid round, in my opinion, for now. Sorry, for this song, Ratsumi Manok Jim. Yeah, now Patan looking very tired at the end of the second round, as well as some Ratsumi, I have to say. Deep breath from both fighters. Let's look at the replay in the second round. Of, yeah, some clinching action and beautiful timing. Push kick from Sohasami. See the way she's just wrapping her arms around her. Struggling is Naupajan within that clinch. Oh. And look, even when Naupajan <laughs> tries to throw that right hand, Som Ratsami, just a sneaky left hand. Yeah, absolutely. Those long arms and legs always in the way. Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges score red 10, blue 9. For the total score, all three judges score red 20, blue 18. Compton, was in uh, Singapore yeah, earlier today as well. Yeah, I just got back from Singapore. Riding time for the RWS Grand Final, third round. A great weekend he's had. All right, <laughs> here we go. Round number three of this year's final. Turning point is this round. If Nalpachan doesn't win it, she'll need a knockdown in the next one to have a chance to win. She's going to have to fight the round of her life right now. But once again, Sol oh. Ratsumi knows exactly what she's doing. Tying her up. Oh. Delivering some good knees. Beautiful action from Sol Ratsumi. Again, the experience, and this is why she was last year's champion. This is why she was the favorite over the beautiful right hand from Nalpachan. And again, two right hands, three right hands there. Coming in from Nalpachan. Much better here by the fighter from Luxai Gongkin. 
a good start to the round for her. She needs that good start. She needs to finish strong as well. <laughs> That's me. Beautiful job. Again, now looking for that right hand. Oh, much again. better round from now, Pajan. And again with that right hand. Oh, oh. she gets with two left hands of her own. Oh. Beautiful right hand there from now, Pajan not giving up just yet. Not at all. It's, uh, both fighters seem to be hanging on there. <laughs> Nafajan holding the experience there. Deep breath here by oh. Nafajan. Oh, this is oh, the knee. Yeah, beautiful clinch there from Sol Ratsmi. The runs a nice left kick to the body. But here again come those left and right hands from Nafajan. Very aggressive this round. Much better round from Nafajan. Perhaps not as easy as expected from Sol Ratsmi. Nafajan slowly waking up even though here taking a few moments in a clinch. It's also been noted as well. Nafajan, we've spoken about Ada. He's also got one down on another fighter and her brother Sandak oh. training in America with Floyd Mayweather as well. Yeah, absolutely. Talented family. And you were telling me as well her older brother was a former boxing champion. Yeah, absolutely. Six, Sixteen brother and sisters of Muay Thai. And it has been 16 years since one of one member of the family has won a title here in Russia Men's Stadium. So a big night and a big round from Nalpatan. Much better round than the previous two, but how are the judges gonna score it? And Somasami looking a little bit tired. Well, if Somasami's looking a little bit tired, I don't know what you call Nalpatan. But yeah, you're right. <laughs> Deep breaths there from Somasami. She took a lot of punishment. Yeah, absolutely. Three or four good, solid punches there coming in from Nalpatan. Let's have a look there. Look at that. One, two, beautiful. And again. So I'm actually walking straight and being clipped. Good left hand though, good slick boxing of her own, being shown by it. So I'm oh, well, That God. could be a pathway to victory for Nalpajan is to turn this thing into a dog fight. Yeah, absolutely. This is a much better run from Nalpajan. Yeah, this is going to be tense though. Stay with us, judges. Ladies and gentlemen, in the third round, all three judges. Score red 10, blue 9. And for the total score, all three judges score red 30, blue 27. There you can see in the corner of Tom Ratsky with the glasses, that is Manop, former trainer of a man you might have heard of by the name of Senchai. All right, here we go. Round number four, Nalpajan. You have to find something from somewhere. Here we go. Oh, right hand straight away there from Nalpajan. Releasing those weapons that she has. <laughs> Pushing back on the face of Son Ratsabi and throwing the left and right hand there. Making it uncomfortable for last year's champion. Oh. Another attempted right hand there from Nalpajan. Yeah, again, Nalpajan. Getting better at blocking the knees. Yeah, absolutely. The Much better work right now from Son Ratsabi. From Nalpajan, my apologies. And Son Ratsabi slowing down a little bit with those long legs. Yeah, and even when Nalpajan does attempt to throw some Ooh, oh, 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 see within the clinch from Nalpajan. She is a fighter, no doubt about it. We are not giving up just yet. The young single mother. Of course, not just in the ring, but in life as well. Absolutely. Again, looking for that right hand. Sam Ratsmi just tying her up. Look at Nalpajan fighting, looking for an elbow strike. So that's me holding on that time. Yes, she is. Here comes Nalpajan once Oof. again. Of course, Ada last year in the tournament. She unfortunately lost to Son Ratsmi in the final. It looks like, as it stands, Ratsmi is going to take out another sister. Mm. Good knees here by Son Ratsmi to finish the round. Yeah, Nalpajan looking out of solutions right now. Throwing body punches in the clinch. He's not giving up, though. Absolutely not giving up. Another right hand attempted there by Nalpajan. Ooh, the left kick. A oh, good knee there from Son Ratsumi. Son Ratsumi on the back foot. Maybe she's good. Well, she's done enough after three rounds. Maybe she feels she's done enough for now. Look for us, look at the body shot. Where's this come from? Beautiful flurry of strikes there to the midsection of Son Ratsumi. He was looking tired at the end. They are not one. giving up just wow. yet. What a round from Nalpatan. Right, 
round of action here in the final. Let's have a look at the highlights. Now, Bajan, she came out trying to steamroll Som Ratsumi, doing everything she could in her power. And there, right at the end of the round, it might have taken it, delivering some beautiful shots to the body. Beautiful right hand there to the forehead. Good knees though, fight Som Ratsumi. We'll be interested to see if indeed now Prajan took this round. Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, in the fourth round, the first just got red 10, blue 9. The second just got red 9, blue 10. And the last just got red 10, blue 9. And for the total score, the first just got red 40, blue 36. The second just got red 39, blue 37. And the last just got 40 to 36. The score is 39 to 37. The score for the has it 40 to 36. Can she do what nine other females, or should I say ten other females, have tried here at RDDS and have failed to do? They can see the family, including the daughter of Nalpurjan, cheering her on. But this is a massive task right now to try and stop Son Ratsumi. Well, at the end of the fourth, that might have been an indication of how she could do it, going back to the body of Son Ratsumi. Let's see if she can find something. Now Prajan looking for that right hand. Then going back to the body, good left, two, one, two, and a right hand there from Now Prajan. Again, going back to the body strikes, but she needs another knee. Much better here right now, Prajan. Not only in this round, but in round number four as well. Not many fighters, also to say, female fighters have actually tried to go for the body of Saul Ratsumi. But now Bajan is giving everything she's got here. Digging deep, going flurries of punches, one, two's coming into the body. The crowd really getting behind her. And again, going back to the body there. Utilising the boxing, her brother Sang Hatik will be proud of. Beautiful elbow though, and the part I find so wrapped to me. One minute left on the clock here. The corner of Nabujana telling her to go after her with elbows. Of course, she needs the knockout. Again, being cornered. This so wrapped to me now, just covering up. It's looking good for Son Ratsumi, it has to be said. It's always going to be a massive task for Nalpajan after four years off to come and defeat the Queen of RWS, the Queen of Rajalam Stadium. But again, she's going back to the body with these body shots. She's giving it everything. You've got to applaud the effort here. Ten seconds left on the clock here. Nalpajan. Still moving for oh! Beautiful left right kick for Saul Ratsumi. And there is the exclamation mark. Now Prachan does everything in her power to get back to her feet. She doesn't want to get knocked out. You can see that. And there is the final bell. Saul Ratsumi will take it home. Two years here at RWS. In her 50th bout, a 50th professional bout, she has become the 2023 RWS Bantamweight Champion, adding to last year's lightweight flyweight title. Congratulations to her and her team. Big props to Nalpajan. What an effort she gave. But Sam Ratsumi is just too good. And there is the mother of Sam Ratsumi. Very proud, I am sure. Let's have a look. And of course, her younger sister. Let's have a look at the highlights from that fight. It was always going to be a risk as Nalpajan moved forward that she was going to leave herself exposed. And that she did. And Som Ratsumi, being the beautiful fighter that she is, was able to find that left high kick on Nalpajan as she went down. But Nalpajan would not stay down. She managed to get back to her feet and finish the fight. So I'm rats to me though, just too good. I keep saying it, I'm sorry, but 
She is an exceptional Muay Thai fighter. She's so slick, she's so smooth. She's able to weather storms. And indeed, when you just thought that Tom rats me, ooh, mate, fight, find something, whips a left high kick out of nowhere in that fifth and final round. There it is. What a fighter she is. Who can we find to test Tom Ratsumi? That is the question that RWS management have to answer. Ladies and gentlemen, right here with us on stage, manager of the National Sports Development Fund, Dr. Suprani Kuptasa, and president of RWS board and board director of President Man Stadium, Mr. Tien Chai Bisi Putinan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, of the five rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. The first judge scored is about 50 to 44. The second judge scored 49 to 45. And the last judge scored 50 to 44. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision. And now the US 2023 female Phantom World Champions goes to Congratulations to our US 2022 Flyweight World Champion and 2023 Female Phantom World World Champion, Sombra Sumi Manok Muay Thai The two divisions are WS World Champion. How are you feeling right now? Ben Cham, Song Run, Tony, Rose, how are you feeling? I'm feeling like 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 I'm feeling I am very happy, very excited. Obviously, this is going to be this is this was going to be a tough challenge last year, fighting at 112 pounds. This year, going up to 118 pounds, and I made it to the final. The big question is, what is next for Somra Sami? You've beat all the best fighters in both divisions. Come, come, top by top, Somra Sami, top. Step top by, what is it? Nak shock, tuk tuk kon nei song run ni shana mai mot leo. ก็รู้สึกว่าดีใจและตื่นตันมากเลยค่ะแล้วก็ต้องขอบคุณเทรนเนอร์อาจารย์มานพยงยัยแล้วก็ผู้ที่อยู่เบื้องหลังทั้งหมดนะคะทั้งอาจารย์นรงค์ภาคตั้งแล้วก็ทุกๆคนเลยค่ะทุกคนที่คอยเชียร์แล้วคอยซ้อมให้ตลอดค่ะเพราะว่าหนูซ้อมทุกไฟทุกไฟมันหนักขึ้นหนักขึ้นจนแบบร้องไห้ทุกไฟทุกไฟเลยค่ะแต่ว่าได้ท่านพวกนี้ค่ะทําให้หนูมีกําลังใจมากขึ้นแล้วก็แม่กับน้องสาวที่มาวันนี้ด้วยค่ะ all right, so I'll make it quick on the translation. I want to thank all my team, all my family, who's helped me to make it this far. I was crying almost every day during practice, but I've made it and I am very happy. Is there something you want to tell to your fans? ทุกเอ่อทุกคนที่คอยสนับสนุนหนูขอบคุณแฟนคลับทุกๆคนทั้งทางบ้านและทางในสนามนี้ค่ะขอบคุณมากๆเลยค่ะ
I want to thank everyone who's always been there to support me and thank everyone who came here to support me today. Tonight, you've made history. The very first female to become two division champions. What does it mean to you? Today, you've been able to build a new team. You've been able to build a new team. How do you feel like you're a new team? I feel like I'm a new team, right? And I feel like I'm a new team. แล้วหนูรู้สึกว่าหนูเป็นแรงบันดาลใจให้กับน้องๆชนเผ่าทุกคนนะคะทุกคนนะคะที่ใครมีความฝันนะคะเมื่อก่อนหนูท้อแท้
กปิตันเพจินดีแคนมีอันหนึ่งล้านนักเจ็ดเมืองนา Here, here comes a captain, one of the biggest favorite of this tournament. He's made it to the final. In control of every fight, and will be looking to be in control again tonight. This is Captain h e d i n l e y Academy. And dancing his way to the final, n u n Lang Lek Jit m o n g Non. We heard that n u n g Lang Lek was going to be in the tournament. There was a lot of hope, a lot of expectation. Someone who a few years ago was at the very, very top of the sport, and now he's got an opportunity to be back amongst the big boys by winning the RWS final right here, right now. Welcome to the final, n u n g Lang Lek, Jit m o n g n o n Have a look at the highlights. <laughs> Let's have a look at the tail of the tape. Let's say from the main event of the evening, the RWS Super Lightweight 2023 final in the red corner. Kapitan Pet Yindi Academy from Thailand, 30 years of age, stands at 172 centimeters. He weighed in yesterday at 130, 39.9 pounds, and has a reach of 173 centimeters. He was born in n o n g b u a l a m p u in Thailand, and has a professional record of 72 victories with 27 losses and one draw. Former two-time Lumpini Stadium champion, former Thailand champion, and former IFMA World Championship h o l d e r Just a reminder, of course, performance of the night. One fighter will receive 100,000 baht, and knockout of the night. If he's deemed fit enough for the money. You will get 200,000 baht. In the blue corner, n u n g Lang Lek Chit m o n g Non. Also from Thailand, of course, 27 years of age, stands at 173 centimeters. There you can see the pathway to the final for these two. On May 6, Kapitan defeated Sakun Chai Lek. June 10, he lost to Pet Tong Chai. On July 15, he defeated Sonnet Chen and on, in the final four. He was over, able to overcome the monster that was Chu j a r u n n u n g Long Lek, he defeated Mateus p u n t u k a s June 10th. He lost to Chu j a r u n July 15th, he defeated Pin Pet b a n c h a m e k And August 19th, he defeated Pet Tong Chai. In 2023, he has a professional record of six fights with four. Wins and two losses. His RWS record is seven fights, four wins, three losses. In his last ten, won six, lost four. One of those losses via KO. Capitan, on the other hand, his RWS record is five fights, four victories, with one loss. There you can see Saw Air, the owner of Jit m o n g Non Gym, here to support her fighter here tonight. One of the most famous gym owners here in. Thailand. The last 10 record of Capitan is seven wins, two loss, one draw. He is Capitan, the oldest competitor in the RWS finals. Yeah, this is going to be another amazing fight. m i n g l a n l e k who used to be a massive superstar, one of the best. Pound for pound, a fighter, and here you can see the crowd enjoying Muay Thai at its finest here in Ratchet and Nun Stadium. Free flow beer, of course. n u n g w o n l e k j i t m o n g n o n 27 years of age, 173 centimeters tall. Just one centimeter taller than Capitan, but seems weird. He seems a little bit taller than that to me. But anyway, he weighed in yesterday 139.8 pounds and has 
a reach of 179 centimetres, a six centimetre reach advantage over Kapitan. He was born in Galasin, here in Thailand, has a professional record of 94 victories with 53 losses and 10 draws. A former Omnoi Stadium champion, a former Lumpini Stadium champion, of course, star of Jip Wong Nong Jim, along with Rod Tang. A lot of the Muay Thai community are split on who they think will win this fight. We've seen both the good and the bad in the group stages from both these fighters, of course. Kapitan losing to Pek Tong Chai. Nung Lang Lek losing to Chu Jirun. However, they both met each other's... Oh, Kapitan kicking away! The bullets <laughs> somehow! We've got to love the atmosphere here. That's interesting as well because Nung Lang Lek is known for being, you know... And he goes for the grenade there. <laughs> Nunalek's known for being you know, a bit loud, a bit boisterous, outgoing. Kapitan is known as the opposite. He's the quiet one. He's the shy guy. But he wasn't shy there. Well, Nunalek. that's him picking up the body. Yeah, Heavy Kapitan body and throw it away. Just like that, he says, tonight you will die. <laughs> Kapitan. Of course, one of two fighters from Pet Hindi Academy in the finals of this year's tournament. Because next week, Ritiwada will be here. But for now, we just crowned two RDBF champions. It's time to crown our third. Take it away, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for AWS final of the Super Lightweight Division. Fighting in the rules of five rounds, Muay in time. This is Muay Thai. This is Russian Man. This bout is brought to you by Emroy Hasim, Leo Soda, Chemical Fertilizer, Wu Wu Katai. And introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Paitun Kokla. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting, the one the red corner, 30 years of age, he stands when it hands 72 is in Miss Hall, and when it then add 39.9 pounds, he record up 72 wins, 27 losses, and one draw. He is Ifma, World Championship gold medalist, and former Thailand champion, and former two times Lumini Stadium champion. Representing Nambu and Lampu province, Thailand, let's hear it for Kapitan Akini Academy! And this opponent fighting over the blue corner. 27 years of age, he stands when it adds 73 centimeters tall and when it adds 39.8 pounds. He will record on 94 wins, 53 losses and 10 draws. He is former Lumini Stadium champion and former Omno Stadium champion representing Galaxin Province, Thailand. Let's hear it for Nung Lang Lang Jim Mung no! Schedule 5 for the RWS 2023 Super Lightweight Tournament. It's Kapitan Pet Yindi versus Nun Lang Lek, Jit Muang Nong. We already know the power in the hands of Kapitan. We know that Nun Lang Lek pretends to start slow and then all of a sudden explodes out of nowhere. Yeah, absolutely. And as we've mentioned earlier, I think, um, the winner of this fight, the one who becomes RWS champion, will get a shot for the Ratchet and Men title. Yeah, beautiful by RWS to do that. 
course, the 140-pound champion right now is dealing with it for half by half. And lots of tension. Yeah. Happy time. Moving slowly. Moving forward, though. No one leg. Hasn't really done anything of note as of yet. With one minute down on the clock. Can't really take a groin shot. Sounds OK. Happy time. Still very confident, taking his time. Ooh, beautiful exchange there. These two have fought against each other twice before. First fight was a draw, although a lot of people thought that Lindland let win that fight, and in the second bout, Capitan defeated Lindland. Oh, Superman punch there from Capitan. That might be from Lindland let. Oh, a body shot there from Capitan as Lindland let go, decides to go down low. At this game. Oh, oh, three kicks in a row. Beautiful. Just that like that. Starting to go through the gears already in round number one. Still a very close round. Good for the judge. Two left kick. Moonlight like that using that. Oh, this is Moonlight Lek. Dangerous. As expected. Capitan, who used to be known under the name of Piss and Lek. A few years ago. Absolutely, and at one point, he blew up all the way <laughs> to 160 pounds. Yeah, absolutely. And his, his height is crazy. Foot. Oh, with a cut on the forehead of Capitan right oh, now. Goodness. Wow, one of those elbows I assume from, from when he was cornered. But yeah, Capitan was the middleweight champion at the Olympic Stadium, 160 pounds, before heading to Hetman Academy, where he became. Ooh. He was on as Diesel lit, I'm being honest. Oh, beautiful exchanges there. Oh, good elbow, get that from Nunlam Lek. Yeah, so it's the speed of the kicks of Capitan versus the elbows of Nunlam Lek right now. We have to remember as well that Capitan was cut in his fight against Pep Tongchai, so it could be the Nunlam Lek. Oh, no. Capitan says no, you won't get me this time. Oh. Oh, there's blood all over the face here of Capitan. Numerous cuts, I believe. Yeah, I think it has to be a left and right cut right now. We'll have Not to get the camera on that, I'm sure, but you see right on the top of the brow there of Capitan. Let's see if we can find out where those elbows occurred. Those are Three kicks. beautiful. Beautiful. And then, oh, I might have on again. One. Two elbows thrown. Oh, that might have been yeah. this one, actually. <laughs> not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think all three connected. Not Beautiful sure which one sliced him open. Oh, look at that. Straight through the guard. Pinpoint accuracy by Nung Lang Lek. The question is, did it take the round? Ladies and gentlemen, in the first round, all three judges score red line, blue 10. Let's see with our next group. In the tournament, of course, you have five all running at the same time. We used to have a really interesting relationship with Capitan. Someone who, who I believe revived his career. He's all like, I'm what we're talking about. He was known as this young up and coming superstar that really started to lose and his, his career was going waywards. But then, Sia Bolt and the Pet Union team brought him in, renamed him Capitan, dropped his weight down to, to 135, and he's had an unbelievable success. Yeah, it's fair to say, brought him back to life. Absolutely. All right, second round. Capitan looking to get that jab going. Oh, good right hand there. Oh, 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 oh. Right hand from yes. the right hand there. I like what Nung Lang Lek is doing because we know Capitan has got the power in his hands, but the fact that he's utilizing elbows as a counter weapon, it makes it hard for Capitan to just go all the way in and expose himself. Oh, 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 oh. Into a right hand, but then connects with a right hand of his own. I'm sure what he's looking to do. Can he's got that blood flowing back on the head of Capitan? He seems to have done a good job of stopping the flow. Ooh. Yeah, looking for oh, and down he goes! 
Is that a knockdown, maybe a slip? Just a slip, but you have to be wary of the knees of Nen Lang Lek. And when you're in this range as well, it's the elbows. He's a vicious and violent fighter, is Nen Lang Lek. Yeah, Nen Lang Lek right now looking as confident as ever, fighting on the back foot. Remember, he fought twice, and Nen Lang Lek hasn't won one. He's going to start winning. Now would be at the time. Pick up three million baht in the process. Absolutely. What a way that would be to win. Oh, what two! Beautiful combination. Again. Yes, stunning from Kaufman. Oh. Three four kicks in a, in a row, four in a row. Three from Nen Lang Lek in round number one, four from Kapitan in round number two. Oh, and the low kick there. Good round so far here from Kapitan. Corner, the pet in the corner, on the far side. They're cheering their boy on. They feel he's taking oh. that in. In round number two. Here we go again with those kicks. Three in a row from Kapitan Nen Lang Lek. Out. Of speed, maybe, and a jab, one, two from Capitan. Nero Lek has got to up his game here. He's definitely down in this round. Oh, beautiful right, I keep there from Nero Lek. Great Okay, give me something for Capitan to think Whoa. about. Good right hand there from Nero Lek. -Lek. And a good kick to the midsection. Nero Lek now in full flow. No kick there from Capitan. Oh, good right hand. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you've got to love it. The combinations from Capitan, punches to kicks, kicks to elbows from the long leg. You've got to give it to RWS, they have created something special here. Good knees here from both fighters. The very top level of Muay Thai here tonight at Ratchatanen Stadium. And the oh. jumping knee, left kick three times in a row again from Capitan, oh. the one, two. Both fighters meeting in the middle there. And I think the Capitan might have come up worse. Then I let go back. What a round. Sensational round of Muay Thai action here at RWS. But the question remains, who took that round? Surely it's in favor of Capitan. Wow. <laughs> The Pet Yindi Corner are really animated right now. They witnessed their fighter losing the first round. I don't think he lost the second. Yeah, Let's have a look at the highlights. Oh, Four in a row that. there by Capitan. Connected with right hands as well. Good knee there from <laughs> Nurk Langleg. Oh, beautiful. Combination from Capitan, right hand, left hook. Textbook. Cross been training with Manus. Olympic gold medal. Ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, all three judges score red 10, blue 9. And for the third score, all three judges score 19 to 19, even. Here we were together at Chip One One having tremendous success training with each other. You see why Rob Tang is animated. He feels that Ming Lek can show more. And I feel agree as well, but that's taking nothing away from what we've seen so far from Capitan. Absolutely, and if there's one thing you can expect in this third round, it's a war. And here we go. One round to one. Nen Lang Lek already back to his feet. He can't let Capitan dictate the pace of the fight like we saw in round number two. Allowing him to throw four kicks in a row without a reply. All right, here we go. Round number three. Round, round of peace going into this round. Good kick there from Nen Lang Lek. Again, Capitan looking for that right hand to the body. Combining with that left hook. We've got to talk about the poker face of Capitan. He's got one face and one <laughs> face only. The really never changes. He is a warrior, no doubt about it. Oh, the one-two! Oh! And a reply from Nung Hamlet. Beautiful exchanges from both fighters. Capitan in great range here to throw those hands, but Nung Hamlet again looking to deliver elbows. Again, the corner of Pet Yindi, Capitan's corner, looking very happy with what they're seeing so far from their fighter. Another flurry of punches there from Capitan. Oh, oh 
as confident as ever, even though he does go into the elbow range of Mimlanlet, but still pushing forward, confident that his speed will be better. I feel like Kapitan is, is doubling up and tripling up on his, on his, on his throws, whereas Mimlanlet is just all about one big shot right now. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Aaron. All these years of fighting, over hundreds of fights from both fighters. It all comes down to today and tonight, to this moment. Oh, and the left knee here. Kapitan is just more active right now. Even when we get in the clinch, he's the one who's striking first. And then they're pushing forward now. He knows he's a little bit behind, perhaps. Oh, beautiful left kick, a free kick again. And a good takedown from Ming Lamlet. That's better from Ming Lamlet. Yeah, absolutely. Even though it doesn't really score, it's a sending a warning shot to Kapitan. Oh, oh, oh. Kapitan delivering some beautiful left hooks. Yeah, Ming Lamlet looking a little bit slower somehow. Yes but strong in the clinch. Look at this lock. Great lock from the Nunlet and Kapitan in the trouble. Much better there from the Nunlet within that clinch. What a close round this is. Nunlet pushing forward now. Perhaps the clinch will be the answer. And here goes the takedown. Is that a sign of fatigue? Oh, double left kick. But Nunlet blocks it as he should. Going back to the clinch. He wants that clinch, that one. What a close around and difficult to judge. And then I'm like pushing forward now. Oh, and he walks into four, five kicks, enemy. Wow. That might have just sealed the round for Kapitan. <laughs> five seconds You're left. You're talking about Muay Thai. Here you got it. Good solid right counter strike there from Millenet as we end round number three. Wow. Four fighters think enough. They've been enough. How do you see what is around the world on the zone? You think Capitan took it on? You think Moon Lang Lek did enough? I have to say, I think that Capitan might have taken that third and final, that third round, final round, third round. Yeah, absolutely. I've got to agree with you on this one. Let's have a look at the replay there. The opening round, Capitan pushing forward using speed and combinations. But during the middle of the round, we saw how strong and dangerous Moon Lang is. And of course, those fury of kicks from Capitan towards the end, and look at this right hand there. Oh! And here was the takedown from Neng Lam Lek. Ladies and gentlemen, in the third round, all three judges Score red 10, blue 9. And for the total score, all three judges score red 29, blue 28. Tough around, a lot of pressure for both fighters. If Meng Lamlet doesn't win it, he needs a knockdown in the end. If Capitan doesn't win this round, that means that will, it will go to the judgment round. None of these fighters wants to lose this round. And again, Nunlan Lek back to his feet, center of the ring. He knows he's down on the scorecards. One thing I did see at the end of that round, before the flurry of kicks, I thought Capitan was tiring just a little bit. Nunlan Lek's just got to put it on him right now. And here we go, as expected. Nunlan Lek oh! looking for... What an elbow there from Nunlan Lek as Capitan tries to fight his way out of that corner. Yeah. As I was about to say, as expected, Moon and Lick looking to get into the clinch. The elbow. Oh, and look at this lock. Oh, perfect. Place to be here, Capitan. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Start to the round from Moon and Lick. Capitan looking for that knee, trying to keep Moon and Lick away with punches and connects with those punches. Good knee there from Nung Lang Lek. Very good first minute from Nung Lang Lek so far. Capitan slowing down a little bit perhaps with also the pressure from Nung Lang Lek. Look at that. Good left kick. Double. Oh, and a knee. Oh, and the elbow. Nung Lang Lek into the clinch. Now can he do something? Nope. Great defense from Capitan back in the center of the ring. Throughout this fight, Nung Lang Lek has really struggled defending those leg those midsection kicks. The left leg of Capitan. And oh. again, they come in. Oh! oh! Not sure if that was a, a punch or an elbow, but connected. 
Look at that from Pakistan. Three punches and then a kick. Whereas Nurmanlek is looking for that one big shot once again. That's better from Nurmanlek. Oh, he got those kicks times. once again. Three kicks in a row. These boys are beating each other up in the final. They really want that three million bar. What a round. Kapitan, blood dripping down. And then I'm like pushing forward, fighting with the heart of a lion. With left kicks to the body once again. Left jabs here from Kapitan. Oh, oh like how many kicks to the body has he eaten in this fight? Beautiful elbow though from Nurmanglet. And again, within the clinch, you just think that Nurmanglet could edge it. But Kapitan is so wiry. Yeah, absolutely great control. And Nurmanglet perhaps getting a little bit tired, pushing forward, eating those middle absolutely. kicks. Oh, and again. Everyone is thrown since we're connected. Oh, and Capitan just controlling the fight right now. No, no, like once again, you see he's winding up for one big elbow strike. Yeah, absolutely, you see it. And Capitan and Capitan saw it too. No, no, I'm like looking like he is out of options right now. I agree, I feel like Capitan is putting on the perfect game plan. He's continuing to throw kicks to the body and for some reason. No, no, like that's better, not answering them. And then he's just happy to defend. Oh. One big oh. shot. Yeah, display of skills. Oh, from good man, from no, no, like, don't carry him out just yet. Beautiful yeah, elbow. Absolutely right. Oh, right. Wow. 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 What a round from both fighters. And you said it, don't call him out just yet, but he looks exhausted. No, 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 going back to his corner. It's got to oh. be those kicks to the body that have just sapped out a yeah, lot of absolutely. the energy from Nguyen Lang Lek. His head's down as he goes back to the corner. Capitan looking out on his feet as well. Beautiful elbow there from Nguyen Lang Lek. Beautiful punches, good knees when he got him into that clinch position. But even though we're seeing highlights from Nguyen Lang Lek right now, I do believe I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, that's fine by me. But I do believe that Capitan took that fourth round. He ate a lot of putting good block there from Capitan. He snuck through, but he took away a lot of the power. Stay with us for the fifth and final round. Ladies and gentlemen, in the fourth round, all three judges score red 10, blue 9. And for the total score, all three judges score red 39, blue 37. Stands at 39 to Capitan, 37 to Nguyen Lan Lek. With Nguyen Lan Lek, we go through the scenarios. Capitan moves around and wins the score. Nguyen Lan Lek needs a knockout. However, if Nguyen Lan Lek is able to drop Capitan, if it's a 10 8 round, we will be seeing co champions. It will be 37 to, sorry, 47 to 47 on all of the judges' scorecards, and that can happen here at RWS. If it is a draw, we will have co-champions. Nurnland Lake needs to drop Capitan. The Capitan, it's just a case of coming up and being defensive with Shreve right now. Sometimes the best form of defense is attack, and against someone as dangerous as Nurnland Lake, that might be what he has to do, because he don't want to invite pressure from Nguyen Lang Lek. Good job there from Capitan, walking around the ring. Not making it easy for Capitan to get close to him. Capitan bouncing forward. And looking for that elbow strike once again. Capitan is tough, taking a lot of elbows. But Capitan staying busy. And even when Nguyen Lang moves forward, Capitan look, throwing jabs. Keeping Nguyen Lang Lek away from throwing one of those big shots that I was talking about. Good start of the round there, perfectly executed by Capitan. Good hands. It looks like Nguyen Lang Lek, so I'm going to say he's given up. He doesn't really know what to do right now. This their third fight, their third encounter. Oh! Again, look, looking for that one big strike is Nguyen Lang Lek. Swing and a miss there by Nguyen Lang Lek. Yeah. 
attempted one twos coming in by Nern Langleck. They have slowed down though for sure. I'm not sure Nern Langleck has anything left in him after those kicks to the body. Throughout the entire fight, it has to be said. It looks like the super lightweight 2023 final belt, final sorry, belongs to Capitani. Pet Yindi will be taking home that belt as well as three million baht. Beautiful boxing here from Capitani. As Nurlak like again attempts to move forward, but he just cannot find that one killer strike that he needs. One minute remains on the clock. Nurlak walks forward. There's nothing left in his gas tank. He's gone. He's going through the motions right now. He's going on left, but he has nothing. Already hear the cheers, the celebratory cheers of Pet Yindi. Tempted hands there coming in from Nung Langlet. Swinging left hand. But again, Capitan able to neutralize. 20 seconds left. Bad times here for Nguyen Lang Lek. He was outclassed, if I'm being honest. Capitan just had more to his game. Just celebrate when he's over by Capitan! See a ball there. In one of his star pupils celebrating a victory for Capitan. Three a million baht in the bank for his student. The pride and the glory going to Pet Yindi. Nung Lang Lek completely despondent. He gave everything he had throughout the tournament. He looked fantastic, but tonight just wasn't his night. The night belongs to Capitan Pet Yindi Academy. All right, let's have a look at the highlights. There was that knee. Not a just to be a knockdown, of course, just a slip. But Capitan, sometimes a fighter just basically finds a weakness in the arsenal of his opposition. And you can see that those kicks to the body are a big weakness for Nung Lang Lek and Capitan completely exposed him and was able to find that pathway to victory. Congratulations to Capitan Pet Yindi Academy, the third fighter tonight that we have crowned the RWS champion. What a celebration it's gonna be over at Pet Yindi Academy. And I'm sure that Ritiwada will be watching on, preparing for next week's final as he takes on Hercules. All right, let's get confirmation of the victory of the champion for this year by our MC, the voice of RWS, the voice of Rajab Nurn, Mr. Beer. Ladies and gentlemen, with us on stage, our honorable guest, Dr. Suprani Kupta, our manager of the National Sport Development Fund, and Mr. Tien Chai, Visit Butinan, president of RWS and board director of President Burns Stadium. Ladies and gentlemen, of the five rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score this month. 49 to 46. We have a winner by way of unanimous decision and RWS 2023 Super Lightweight Champion of the World. Congratulations to our the US 2023 Super Lightweight Champion of the World, Capitan Bachini Ochenabe!
ladies and gentlemen, I am here with your winner. How are you feeling right now? ตอนนี้รู้สึกยังไงบ้างครับครับทางอื่นก็ขอขอบคุณเซียโบสขอขอบคุณเซนเอาขอบคุณครอบครัวเพชรยินดีพี่น้องทุกๆคนด้วยนะครับสิ่งที่ผมค้างคาใจมาตลอด22ปีบนขืนถ้าไปในอาชีพนักมวยของผมวันนี้ผมทำมันสำเร็จผมหายข้องใจผมหายค้างคาใจแล้วครับ I want to thank my gym and the people who gave me this opportunity today. I had a lot of questions within myself. I had a lot of questions to be answered, and today I have answered those questions. Walk me through the fight. The very first round looked like it was going to be a difficult fight. You got an injury, but you were still able to walk through the fight. In the first round, I have to say that it was not the way I thought. Because it was different from the first round. But I was able to walk through it. I want to talk to you. Yes. แมตช์นี้ก็รู้สึกดีใจครับแล้วก็เป็นเกมเกมที่สนุกแล้วก็เหนื่อยครับเพราะหนึ่งร้านเล็กเขาก็มาดีเหมือนกันครับก็ทําให้เหนื่อยเหมือนไม่ไม่เหมือนที่วางแผนเอามาเอาไว้ครับ Of course it was a very difficult fight as expected my opponent was really good and it was much more tired than I expected I know there's a belt that you're still missing I know there's a title that you want to get and that is the Ratchetman Stadium ผมได้ยินมานะครับว่ายังมีเข็มขัดอีกหนึ่งเส้นที่เราเองก็อยากได้นั่นก็คือแชมป์ราชดำเนินครับก็รู้สึกดีใจครับที่ได้เป็นแชมป์มวยรอบ RWS ครับก็สิ่งที่ผมค้างคาใจมาตลอด22ปีวันนี้ผมได้ทำมันอย่างสมบูรณ์แบบแล้วครับ I am very happy and proud of myself to become the RWS World Champion and the questions that needed answer for the past 22 years have been answered. Lastly, is there anything you want to say to your fans? So, do you have anything you want to say to your fans? Thank you fans who are always looking for your support, always looking for your support. I'm going to make my fans for me until I get to the end. I want to thank all my fans and all the support that they've been, they've been giving me today. I have made my dream come true. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Capitan Petyende Akademi! What a great night of Muay Thai action, Aaron. Yeah, amazing performance by Capitan, the worthy RWS 2023 champion, someone who's been around the sport for a long time, who was considering maybe even quitting the sport if he didn't win. Those were the rumors, but he hasn't quit. He's won the championship, and now, like Antoine said, it looks like he's going to go on to potentially fight for the Rajadam Nun Stadium Championship as well as becoming the 2023 RWS champion. What a night for him and Pet Indy Academy. Yeah, absolutely. And even though we do have the finalists, we do have the winners now, it is not the end. It is only the beginning because next week, oh, amazing fights as well. Yeah, absolutely. In the super welterweight final, Yorkwicha will be taking on Tananjai Sit Song Pinong. And in the welterweight, Ritiwada Pet Indy Academy will be taking on Hercules. And of course, next week as well, the Rajanamistan Stadium lightweight title will be up for grabs as the champion John Paranchai will be taking on Adam Noy. I'm sure Lamnam Moonlek will be watching that one. And here you can see the upcoming schedule. On the 14th of October, we've got Prow Prow taking on Din Yuatong as he defends his super lightweight title does Prow Prow. And of course, we've got Marie Hines from Luxembourg taking on Selena Flores from the US of A. On the 21st of October, We've got Shadow taking on Saturn Far, and in the main event, the Rajnan Nern Super Welterweight title will be on the line as champion Daniel Rodriguez will be taking on Thailand's Son Kao. And on the 28th of October, we've got Issei versus Pangtor in the Super Flyweight division. What a fight that will be. And we've got the Rajnan Nern Flyweight title up for grabs as champion Chaila will be taking on Yotin FA Group. Yeah, and of course, 
amazing fights every Saturday night here in Ratchet Amnon Stadium. It was always, uh, as always, a pleasure to be here alongside with you, Aaron. So we will see you guys next week here in Ratchet Amnon Stadium because this is Muay Thai and this is Ratchet Amnon!